Welcome to the Finance Committee, uh, February 26th, 2019. First item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. So we have minutes that Bruce has done up from February 19th. Yes. So if you will all take a look at that. Just got one correction. All right. Last page. Yep. Motion to adjourn. Yes. I wasn't here, so I didn't make the motion. Oh, yeah. That's a, you did it from remote, though, wasn't it? <laughs> remote? <laughs> you called it in? Yeah, I, I was at the Cape. <laughs> Close enough. So who made the motion to adjourn? John. I'll take your responsibility. I'll oh, say I did. I was going to type all the other Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I should have from the different view. Any other corrections? Yeah, sure. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Bruce. Yes. No, the other Bruce. Bruce St. Peter's is missing off the members present. And I added him. And um, we did verify that 185.914 is the correct number, so I'll revise that. Okay. When I wrote something down, it wasn't that number. That's all right. All right. We also had on page two yep. uh, the revote yep. on the accountant salary. Yes. Okay. As far as page that, that making one's the motion. Correct. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Please. Oh, the revote. That's what we had in the Why does it say accountant salary? I remember sucking it. I don't remember who. No, why is it so made the comes? motion on that? It's a different item. Yeah. Right. You remember second it? Yes, I, I no. know I second that. But I think Bruce. I don't remember who. Bruce did. It's there. That's all right. Oh, oh JPAR. So Again, so yes. Where is that? Got it. It's R, not C. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yep. I was looking for that. You've got it in bold, and I'm saying that's just a header. So now we look at some detail. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> okay. All right. Any other corrections? Can I have a motion to accept the minutes as corrected? I'll make the motion and accept the minutes as corrected. Second. It's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 One abstention. One abstention. Six zero one. Six zero one. Once again, Bruce, well done. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so there's the minutes. We have a request for a transfer from the reserve fund. Did not make copies of it. Uh, I'll pass it around and everybody take a look at it. And Diane is going to speak to it. So if you take, take a look at this, Bruce. Do you want a copy to put with the minutes? Yeah. Okay. It's a request for twenty thousand uh, dollars. So, Diana, would you uh, speak to the uh, reserve fund transfer? Sure. Um, this is an amount that actually does appear on the special town meeting warrant, uh, but because of the delay in the time of the meeting. Um, we are trying to get a grant application in for hazard mitigation that's due on April 4th. So in order to continue the process of getting that done, um, if we delayed and waited till town meeting for the money to be funded, uh, we wouldn't be able to get the work done in time for the grant application. So is the intent just to vote it here and then to delete the article? To pass over at town meeting if you were pass to over the vote article. it. So the 20000 is for what? It's for engineering um, on the Mill Village Road culvert project that we've been working under the, uh, the MVP program. Uh, there's also another grant opportunity, the Hazard Mitigation Grant. We'd like to combine those two sources and leverage more money to solve the combined problems down there that are more than one culvert. A mitigation plan? A hazard Mitigation Grant. Application, application is what we're looking for. Yeah. And that's broken out, the fee is broken out. 
for twenty thousand. It's uh, I think the total is nineteen eight, but uh, Skip has the details yeah, on what 20, that accounts. Say. Oh, it's a detail there. Yeah, There's a site uh, reconnaissance and base map development four thousand hydro hydro yeah hydrologic okay. and hydraulic modeling and report nine thousand HMGP application. Uh, 6,800 grand total, 19.8. So we're not getting any design? No, this is just to get the application done. I don't know what, how much. Um, I imagine there'd be some pre-design done as part of the application, not much. Not much. But we also, if the grant is funded, we do get some of that money back as well. He, he noted that in that agreement as well. We would get a portion of that back in the grant, the grant um, if it's funded. So. Most of the work is actually being done on the MVP program with the Mill Village replacement culvert. But this is to extend the study up to Wapping Road. Every time we have a rain storm of an inch or more, um, we have flooding on Wapping Road, and that whole culvert system is failing. And um, people's septic systems are failing, and are actually some have failed already. So and it's a public safety issue because we have to shut down Wapping Road. So we're paying for a study to extend an existing mitigation plan up to Wapping Road? No, 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 no. no this no. is to extend the hydraulic study. You, when part of the Mill Village replacement um, project does some of this study already as part of the grant we received under the Municipal Vulnerability. Yep. So we're taking advantage of Ty and Bond already doing the pre-work, most of the pre-work up into five and ten. So this just extends it to to cover Wapping Road, and so it's a kind of a bargain price. And then we're paying them, which would be reimbursable, sixty-eight hundred dollars to do the grant application if we get the grant. And the idea is to, I mean, the state. This is as close as we've gotten the curious. state to be interested in partnering with us to solve the problem because they dug the ditches out on 5 and 10 just by Savage's Market there uh, where Bittersweet Bakery is now, but they don't maintain it. Sorry. And it's, it's part of that landslide that happened in November of 2011. Right. It was actually so also a, if I could just add, it was actually an initiative that was brought to the administration by the police chief who communicated with DOT. So they brought um, the public works and the police department brought officials together from DOT um, and determined that we really needed to do this, this work. Um, and so they were the ones that were sort of proponents of us applying for this grant in conjunction with the MVP work so that we could try to get as much done, you know, as as possible and get the grant. Also, uh, just a little background here. This was brought to the Capital Improvement Committee uh, kind of at the last minute uh, at our last meeting. But because of the time element, this was going to be brought forward to uh, the special town meeting. So uh, the Capital Improvement Committee, even though the process was a little different, let's put it that way, uh, the Capital Improvement Committee did vote to recommend it to move it forward for the purpose of possibly securing grant monies for this project. And uh, because of the delay now of the special, uh, special town meeting, it's thrown that timing off. So that's part of the reason why it's come back here. Because we, we do have it in our, our capital plan, our five-year plan for... So is this grant going to be to replace Mill Village Culvert? No. Mill Village Culvert is already being replaced under um, the MVP program. We're moving forward with that. We've got the design work. We're, we have been awarded the design work, and then we're, you know, hopefully. So what are we applying for? We are applying for the Hazardous Mitigation Grant Program. It's a. Oh, just the program? Yes. This so, is a okay. different program, different pot of money. Um, but additional work in the same area, for different, additional construction up. in the same area. Though. It's further up and it involves all Correct. these I other understand. Things. I just didn't Correct. know what we were applying for. Uh, it's an April 4th deadline and that's, if we had had the special town meeting last night, we would have voted on it and it would have been fine to move ahead. But So the grant will allow us, after we get the grant, to apply for future funding? Yes. Yes. Um, 
well, we're applying for the grant that will hopefully, uh, we don't know exactly how much the project is going to cost, but it will be several hundred, this will leverage several hundred thousand dollars of some sort. We, we don't know what the project ultimately is going to cost because we don't, we're just putting the application in. Okay. Any other questions? Make a motion we authorize a transfer. Second. Moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Stay. One abstention. Give me a second to sign this. And, uh, Thank you very much. This, this is the uh, 26, um, right? Yeah. Allow us to go ahead tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you very much. So that was 601 on the vote, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we start, um, Brenda, did you, did you pass out, pass these out? Thank yes. you. Okay. Uh, so I didn't know Brenda was going to have these ready for tonight's meeting, so I went through this afternoon and quickly uh, did a revenue expense projection. And since I haven't had a chance to look at these, I'm going to pass the one that I did out, and we'll talk about that. And then uh, we'll use Brenda's from then on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah, what I'm doing. I got next one. Skip. Okay. Thank you. Uh, just. Yeah, if you just since you're here. So very simply, and I think we're in pretty close approximation here with these uh, with these numbers. Tax revenues, we estimate eleven million two hundred and eighty-six thousand and change. Local receipts, one million six hundred and sixty-five thousand. State aid, one million five hundred thousand. Dickinson Library Trust is in there, but you'll also see where I've taken it out on the bottom. Uh, other revenues, 114,000. I'll let Brenda describe what the other revenues are. Uh, tax revenues, the debt exclusion at this point, now this is only what we have, so there, there probably are going to be other ones for the town meeting, but 469,720. And I picked $700,000 in free cash. We've got approximately 1.2 million, and we've talked about keeping 5,000 in reserve, so, or 500,000 in reserve. Uh, I think you'll see at the bottom that that's not going to be possible. Sewer reserve fund, it's in there because we're going to appropriate the money. And go ahead. Um, with the um, free cash available, I think the CIPC was going to request money for that also the stabilization bond again this year so, mm -hmm. so the 700 depends yeah we, there's less. there's 500,000 that's not being accounted used for, here right. accounted for so but this was just the first uh, first pass to see where we stand total revenues 16 million five hundred and eighty three thousand expenses and you'll see that the schools are in here and we haven't we haven't even discussed any of the schools and, and we just, just to put them into the budget, just yep. a flat two and a half percent increase, which you know is not going to happen. So, yeah, uh, general government by and large, all the other ones either have been or will be voted on by the time we're finished tonight. There'll be a few budgets, but other than education, so we've got a total expense projection of fifteen million one hundred and forty-four. Um, and then for those warrant articles which are voted separately, the list, reserve fund, 100,000, SCEMS, should have been all caps, but we'll live with it, uh, 330,000 approximately, 
Dickinson Library Trust, Smith Folk, we are including one person in there, $20,000 for tuition, $15,000 for transportation. Maybe we'll get lucky and the person will decide to stay here. OPEB funding, that was updated. Um, and Brenda, what was that, 4% 4, 4 or something of? 4% 4, 4 of last year's cost. I haven't, I haven't determined that's the exact number yet, but, but it was a, that, kind of a first draft of it today. Last year. No, What's that? That, this number is less than last year? No, it's more. Is it? Yeah, last it's year 30, it was 35,000 35, or something. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Uh, snow and ice shortage. Uh, anticipating that by the time we get to town meeting, we're going to need $15,000. Well, that will take out of free cash. Just 15, a number 15, to throw 000, in there. Yeah. 50, yeah. 50,000. 50,000. Other payroll. Whether that's spent or not remains to be seen. Uh, capital requests, 291,000, and I'm sure that Jeff will tell us that there are some other requests, but that's what we know of at the moment. Sewer Enterprise Fund, again, that shows up both as revenue and expense. Uh, total articles voted separately, 1.7 million. Grand total expenses, 16,860,000. And at this point, we are, our expenses exceed revenues by $275,000. Yeah, and there's, there's one um, that Carolyn pointed out that you missed that I added later today was the um, 10000 for the 350th anniversary committee. Yeah, okay. What's so the, that puts it even, even further in the hole. Yes. I'm curious, what's the other payroll? I know it's not a lot of money. It, it was the, it's the difference between the the two percent uh, a two percent cost of living increase and no two percent cost of living increase. Okay. So it's it's there. Okay. Depending on what the selectmen end up uh, right. Thank you. finally voting. Okay. Okay. That's ugly. So <laughs> I guess you know when I when I made the, the uh, the statement several times, and I think everybody's tired of hearing me say, say it, but quite honestly, uh, where are we going to get the money from is, is not fun and games anymore. That's leaving 500000 in free cash. Well, right? leaves 500000 in free cash, more or less. Well, reserve fund is 100000 That's well, us, right? Well, Should, that's in there. You know what's maybe not in here is the... Articles are going to be voted on right. at the upcoming special town meeting. Which are right. the capital articles? Yeah, they're they're in there. I forget how much they were. Two hundred ninety thousand. Anything in there? Two hundred ninety thousand. No, well, no, the special town meeting. What? Special. What was? What's oh, special. Oh, the special town meeting. I'm trying to remember what's in the. What's the, What are the two dollars. left? A million. A million dollars, dollars for, sewer. for the that's sewer. sewer. Twenty-five percent of its town. And what was the other? Yeah, we, I have not done anything with the sewer at this point for those projects. Um, There's nothing in these budgets. It was budgets. a small amount of money. The 30000 for the town uh, buildings has already been voted. Yeah. That came out of free cash, right? No, it was a special, yeah, I think it's kind of kind of change your free cash number, I guess. Yeah. That's well, right. Like, we're, we're a little, you know, yeah, the, was the total, low. total of free cash is what? I guess well, the big... Million two seventy, uh, uh, twelve uh, million two seventy eight or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So and we took and we took twenty thousand or eight thousand dollars out or something for the roof. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Because it was forty eight, yeah. and we had eight hundred for a transfer. So it's the sewer. Wow. So we've got. You know, I'm indicating that we're going to use seven hundred thousand, and that's just. That's just the number that I you know pulled out of the air. So there's $500,000, $550,000 in free cash that we are not, have not allocated. Well, sort of. We got 277000 that we. Well, we have to cover, yeah, what we're short so already. So that brings us down to maybe $250,000 that, uh, so we, we've got problems. Yeah, if, if, if you look at the revenue report that I put together, yeah. um, I'm showing that that only leaves us with 222,000 
um, in free cash for mm -hmm. the end of the year. And that's without anything else. That's without any other costs or any other special articles that might come up. Um, but that, like you said, it doesn't count the sewer. Right. That's and exactly it right. It has no, sewer, nothing in there for sewer. Special and, town meeting and annual town. And it's still showing only a 2.5% increase for right, every for one school. of the schools. The, right. the so sewer, not good. I'm, I'm assuming that that will end up being debt excluded. So if it were debt excluded, it's going to show up as both income and expense. Is that it, we would 700 eat? series debt? Or is that current uh, debt? No, it's not in here. Right? Not in here. No, it's not in there. But if we did, it would be, you know, if we're taking it, okay. let's assume the 75-25 rule is yeah, what we right. end up with, and it's a million dollars, that's 250000 bucks that the town's going to be responsible for. That's going to be a loan, right. uh, and I assume it's going to be debt excluded. And if that's the case, then this debt exclusion number that we show in here as being uh, 469000 is going to go up by 250000 yeah. Mm -hmm. And warrant about. articles. Well, well, it won't be two fifty. It'll be whatever the Plus the, the payments no, are this year. Interest it'll be doesn't count. It's separate. You don't. It'll be two fifty. You don't put in the amount we're going to. So cash you're going to borrow we'll spend. and then pay it all off within the fiscal year. Is that what you're expecting? No, no, I'm not. Oh, okay. Then won't shouldn't the amount be the principal and interest we spend next year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not the full it, exactly. Exactly. Well, it'll be yeah. Yeah. So it's but, gonna be a lot less. And, and then that doesn't even take well, into no, account. No, apparently, no, there's another million dollar project with with wastewater treatment that's supposed to happen in and, and 2020. Okay. Also, yes. in addition to this million dollar project, so right. that isn't. Reflected. This is the clear, the one that we're voting on on March 11th is the clear, repair to the clarifier. For the clarifier. And that is a regulatory requirement. We're gonna get fined if we don't do it. And that's gonna show up in 2019. Yes. And then there's another 900 and some odd that's going to show up in 2020 request. Which is the first. For the sewer. Right. Part so far. I mean. That could change. That we, number for 2020 We need 2020 to find out. We, hopefully before town meeting we will have an indication whether we get the grant or not. And that will either cover this, what we're voting on March 11th, plus this next year and start of the 13-year plan. Or we're going to have to, if we don't get get it, then we have to reconfigure what we're going to do. So it's kind of up in the air. I mean, I I would want us to relook at everything if we don't get the grant. If we, we've been pushing the plan. We've been pushing, uh, you know, to get going here so we can get because there's a this is a this was leftover money from somewhere. I don't know where, but it got there's seventy million dollars sitting there for this for us to tap into. And we're hoping to get four and a half million of it. But there's all kinds of people This is nationwide. Looking. No, this, this is, is for Massachusetts. Massachusetts, 700 yeah. million? Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is, but there's all kinds of people looking for this money. So, I mean, when it, people are going in USDA, for so. multiple millions, it's not, you're mm -hmm. only gonna do a few applications. So we're pushing for this. Diana is gonna send out cover letters tomorrow to our legislative delegation. I spoke to John Nadelsky at the governor's office. He's gonna follow up on it. Um, so, I mean, there's good potential for stuff happening and we should know by annual town meeting. Um, I, I, I can't tell you anymore because obviously if we get four and a half million, we're gonna march forward. If we don't get the money, then we gotta figure out how we're really gonna do this to make it affordable. Mm -hmm. And what are the other options? I'm not saying that we wouldn't hustle for more grants down the line, but we're going to have to figure something else out. But we have no choice on the clarifier. We have to fix the clarifier. We don't have much choice on the other one either. No, I know. But we're, we're going to try to but figure out something if we don't get the grant. But we're just, everyone needs to vision, vision positive visions of getting that grant. So I just, I just wanted everyone to get an idea Thank of you. where we stand. Uh, not that this is the final number, uh, but I suspect it's reasonably close. And, and uh, I haven't had a chance to take a look at, at the report, the revenue expense reports that uh, Brenda put out. So that's the good news. <laughs> oh, good. That's the good news. Way to start. <laughs> Thanks. <Good night. laughs> 
We are completely bankrupt. Not yet. We give us, give us a couple more. Right? We'll spend it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Who cares? Should, so shall we move on to uh, the budgets that we want to look at? Yeah, that would be good. There's one in here that we don't have, and I'm not sure why. Uh, What's that? Contracted services. Oh, I, I just printed it. You found it? Well, I expected it all along. It's just that um, everything's printed. Okay. Where are we looking at fixed budgets first, so I wasn't going to have Yeah, it no. It, yeah, we're going to look at the inspection department and board of health budgets okay. first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, we don't we don't have a plan yet. Okay. I mean, I would say that that okay. is not going to be funded because we're hoping to go to the state. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to wipe it out just yet. So, should we do the inspection departments first, budget, payroll, and expense? And uh, I'm going to let uh, Carolyn and Diana speak to that. Yep, fifty-one ten. First. <laughs> We're under the we, we want our team to be to be bigger. We want our team to appear bigger. <laughs> Get another table. I can sit in the back. So, so just to let you know, even if there's four of you up there, we got five of us, uh, seven of us down here. So I was going to say we're all on the same team. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> okay. So, well, why don't I start? Did they electrify those seats up there? Do you want me to? Do you want me to start? <laughs> okay. So, um, since I've been here about a year now, um, I have been working a lot on special projects, but I've also been working a lot on the planning and land use functions uh, in the town. Um, I've also uh, worked a little bit with the administrative staff on a variety of things. I've kind of been uh, managing uh, some of the uh, work that goes between the administrator's office and the inspection's office. So last year you were in infinitely uh, wise and voted a position or put in a position um, that we had uh, hired an assistant town administrator planning official um, and that person was here for a very short time. But in that time what we discovered is how much land use and planning activity uh, needed to be attended to. So. As we move forward hiring a full-time commissioner, which we already have in the budget and in the works in terms of the hiring, um, what I am proposing for FY20 is to consider adding uh, more administrative support in the inspections department so that when we have um, that up and running, a full-time commissioner, uh, we have the support we need for that position, but also that that job would be for the land use planning functions, including zoning, conservation commission, um, any administrative work for planning and uh, work on the inspections. So um, that's what that position would be. Now, right now, the way it looks is it's two positions. I am not, I, there's no positions that have been created at all. It's an illustration so you can just see what the ask is in terms of money. Um, the positions, that would be up to the board of select, or the select board and, and uh, others to determine, you know, the best arrangement for that. But what we have determined is we just don't have enough administrative support. We have one, actually right now you have a unique situation that will be changed very quickly, but you have one department head who is working, um, uh, you know, trying to, to manage two full-time jobs in less than a full-time amount and administratively support those jobs as well to some extent. Although there is administrative support, it's just completely fragmented. So it's not, it's not linear. It's partly over here, it's partly over here. Um, it's, it's quite, uh, it 
seems, you know, kind of been, uh, like I said, sort of fragment and divest, fragmented and divested, you know, away from the inspections department. So what I would like to see is a full-time administrative support person dedicated to that area. Last year we ran into a problem where they wanted to hire a planning board person. And mm -hmm. last year the planning board didn't even know anything about it. My concern is Empire Building. Before we had a different regime which said put all the office per clerks in one office. Now that you put them all in one office, how many people have you gotten there? You got a town administrator, assistant town administrator, another position, and then a fourth position, four people in that office? No, 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 no. There's only got? there'd only be three people in that budget. There's only three people in the administrative budget right now. It's the the administrator, some type of an assistant, still to be determined, assistant, planning, executive assistant, exe uh, economic development, well, I don't care what you call it. As a secretary, and then instead of giving everybody executive assistant things, so you're gonna pay another ten thousand dollars. That's the position you had, is what I'm saying. And then there's a third position in the budget, an administrative assistant position. So those positions we're not we're not proposing any changes to those positions. I'm proposing yeah, just to add. Yeah, but you propose another twenty thousand in here. Correct. Actually, so you're proposing an increase. I'm I'm proposing additional administrative support to this department. Correct. Yes. And you don't have somebody over there that you can put them over here. Correct. Skip. I have a <clears throat> Skip. Oh, Bruce, you got a question? No, I think you were Bruce. <clears throat> um, the question I have is, who will be the supervisor of this staff person? Is it going to be directly under the um, building inspector department? So the building inspection. That's inspector. That's a good question, Bruce. I think that would be determined, and when we determine the position, who the supervisor is. I'm strictly telling you the functions that need to be supported. So I expect it would be probably under the building commissioner, but I don't. Uh, that's to be determined. The in, positions in, have in not office. been determined. So when the positions are determined, that's when the you know it'll be determined. <clears throat> Who reports to who? But most most of the hours are building re inspection related. So I right. would say it would be inspector. the building commissioner. Commissioner, right. okay. I expect that as well. I just have one more, John. Go ahead. Um, could you tell us why you requested twenty two thousand? In 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 relation to the additional to position. Well, I have there is a there's a half time position in the in the office now. Mm -hmm. So I'm just proposing to bring it to more what a full-time position would be funded at. So again, I have no presumptions of what position that is, but I put a value in there that was similar to the value that was in there. So I'm, I'm proposing doubling, basically, the, the It just doesn't time. meet. She's working 18, so I'm yeah. proposing. So this is, um, so but this, if you took the same hours and divided it and get an hourly rate, it doesn't fall on the um, classification schedule. Correct. Yeah. No, I haven't. We, we aren't down. We're just asking for the funding at this point. There funding. is no position associated with that particular line. The but, but I'm trying to give you the information ahead of, of that because I can't, you know, going through the process of creating a position, establishing it, and going through personnel and all that will take a lot of time and effort. If there's no funding for it, it seems, it seems not. Um, like is the use of you said this is like a half-time thing that you additional gonna... half-time position. Okay, where half -time. is the other? Where is the other half-time in the current budgets? So right now there's half-time in that so, department, which in the inspections office. department yeah. there's a half-time person there. Or 18 hours a week. 18 hours. Excuse me. I'm yeah, same. Down there. That's okay. half-time. Um, and inspection. I'm proposing an additional approximately 18 hours in the inspections department under that land use inspections department and I'm proposing half time in the Board of Health department which we're not to that budget yet right. sure but that's that. okay. so that's and, and where the breakout of the positions and, and is. Diana was trying to make it more even and clean but truthfully the Board of Health when you get to the Board of Health budget we just, we're it looks like we could handle eight to ten hours would be enough clerical support for that department. However, the inspections department is more than a full-time person. So, 
I mean, if you're not going we to support this. We have numbers to back this up. What? Uh, we have the building commissioner here. Can he, yes. can he tell us that he needs that much staff? Let's back up 15 years. 15 years ago, we had a full-time building commissioner, a 20-hour assistant, and a full-time clerical person, okay, to handle those functions, okay? The functions have increased over the years with the stretch code and other things, okay? Fortunately for the town, I filled in both positions, and I'll give you an example. When I go to Deerfield Academy to inspect the building, I would inspect the food operation in the dining hall, okay? So there's a freebie, we'll call it, okay? And currently, I'm doing all those jobs, and that has to come to a screeching halt. <coughs> so but in the what past, I see yeah. for function is, I see that 25% of that person's time would be dedicated to uh, building inspection stuff. 25% would be dedicated to planning board. 20, another 25% would be dedicated to conservation commission and zoning board filing. And the other 25% of that position would be dedicated to board of health support, okay? And in this day and age, we seem to be getting a tremendous amount of calls for people doing public records requests, research on stuff and septic systems and the planning board zoning support required by the building inspector now practically requires them to be there at every single meeting. It, it's just, it's just something they have to, we have to clarify. Otherwise the meetings get delayed and they ask for comments, questions back and you wind up doing research on it. So it, it's getting a little complex, okay? The building inspection fees, we budget normally around 200,000 for revenue. Um, but when you add plumbing and electrical, which this person would also address, um, uh, last year it was like 334,000. Yeah. We, um, I mean, it, it certainly, there is, this department generates revenue yeah. and, you, yeah. and you, we are really, yeah. we need to be able to, to support cl clerically clerical support for that, those permits, they need to be filed, they need, you know, information needs to be. The work is not happening currently. Right. The plumbing inspector and the wiring inspector, basically Priscilla's supporting them too. And if it wasn't for the people we had in those positions right now, half of that work wouldn't get done. Uh, we have a wiring inspector that shows up five days a week, whether he wants to or not. And he's here most of the time for gratis. He likes us, okay? So a lot of that stuff gets taken care of, Bruce. Um, no, I'm just yeah, curious. We, I know we can't um, count on it, the, the department self-funding through permits. It is self-funded. It, it is right now. But as we talked tonight, all the anything over the budget goes into free cash. Correct. All, all the right, all the money so goes into the we use that free cash to balance the budget. So, correct. Right, exactly. If you if we're talking about adding, I don't know, this was part of the revenue or expense part that's get put together. Yeah. In, in the past you, 15 years, we've never had a deficit in the inspections departments for fees collected. One of the reasons well, is the footprint. There's the same footprint for like Deerfield Academy, and they just continually upgrade their um, properties. So, I mean, we ha when we say that we average budget 200,000 in revenue, we, it, it truly is that plus. I mean, that is a very conservative figure, so. Well, it's almost like we have to. Yes, well. Because if we don't have the revenue, we're gonna right. be fairly that's short. That's correct, right, right. We should be providing the services that are supported by the revenue that's being generated. Yeah. You, may I? Um, you've got, I'm trying to fathom, understand it, I guess, in the inspections department payroll, you have an inspections department clerk for 22401 That's Priscilla. Which is, okay, which is the same amount of money you're using for the Board of Health Administration support. So that's Priscilla, right? Too. No, it's a new person, too. Um, 
It's yet to be determined same what person. the arrangement okay. would new be. Person. Well, she, so you're going to get a new used, person. We just used, yes, we used She's the same, same data, payroll. but it, it isn't, obviously one person can't work in three, three different places. <laughs> so um, we have one person working half time right now, and when we figure out what the arrangement of the jobs will be, then presumably that person will have one of those. But that one person you have now is working half time. Correct. Inspections and half health. No, she's just working in one place. It's just that the inspections and health is all one right now. But okay. we're sort of thinking split, it's going to be split, split out. out. Correct. So, so now you're going to add another person. It's going to be split out because I'm you're going to have different this. staff. You're, you're adding another person for twenty-two thousand dollars. Correct. How many hours no. and at what rate? I'm not okay. So, John, this is what I'm trying to explain. I'm not really adding a person. What I'm trying to just demonstrate is that we need the full-time equivalent of administrative support. Whatever. I don't know if that you know it could be grade one, it could be grade two, you know, step three. I, that is yet to be determined. It isn't really even been determined by the operation. You know, the operations, uh, the select <coughs> board what the arrangement will be but what we do know is that we need more support so i've just given you the value of the support you currently have and i'm saying double it and that's what we need why aren't we department. looking at the idea of taking priscilla and moving her from 20 hours a week to 30 hours a week you why aren't we looking can't at do that, that. Oh, she she's restricted. because that's then that's an operational time, question time it isn't even to. that hasn't even been discussed that nothing is off the table in how we do it but i am telling you that you need the full-time equivalent of more things so it isn't that could be but we still need a full-time person here and a half-time person in, this is, you know, my recommendation and what the board has voted to bring forth to you um, additional person in the Board of Health as well. I don't want to speak out of turn, but Priscilla is maxed out on her hours that she can work or willing to work, okay? And That's right, because she's retired from another town. Okay, that well, is correct. Speaking so out of turn retirement. would mean let's and so she's working. be we we be discussing be, it. We shouldn't be discussing it. To the finance Exactly what the specific operations are going to be, but I, I, mean, I think it's pretty clearly outlined what the administrative needs of that department are, and supported by the revenue production of it. And I mean, it seems to me like it is well thought out. I'm wondering just when would the, when would those plans be finalized? Is there, I mean, is that something that there is a timeline for of when the specific operations Well, will be if, the, if this is supported, then um, um, we'll, yeah. Diana will take this to the personnel committee and they'll, you know. Yeah. I, I don't want to get too, uh, too far ahead of myself because, you know, it's got to go to town meeting, everything. But I think right after town meeting, we would be prepared with job descriptions to go to the personnel board and get these positions in place as quickly as possible. There's an absolute need for them, and we are not going to languish or de delay. But I'm not going to go out ahead either because my time is way too uh, valuable right now. I have very so many projects, so I want to make sure that, you know, it's funded and supported. That's all. We're, we're under, as everyone knows, we're understaffed in the selectman's office right now. We just have a town administrator, and um, we're missing our assistant. And we have been operating without one for more than a year, almost. I think some of the support uh, money would come from money from the stamp, for example, that the planning board collects for fees for services rendered that we were previously paying the COG. That's right. And some of that money would come back to us through fees from the planning board. The planning board would be setting fees for reviews and for information that the town had to research for them. So and application I, fees. I, I do have a fine I do have a plan, a financial plan for, for funding this, like where the money is actually going to come from next year in terms of so how we're gonna would this edit. person attend uh, the Planning board meetings as, uh, as a Cat Smith had, yeah. I guess. Well, that's Lucia. still to be determined because we have a we have a position in that executive or in excuse me in the assistant um, planning official, and that person is the person that may be attending the planning board meetings. But this person, in my vision, would be accessible during the day to the public coming in the door for all of those boards and committees. 
um, you know, the administrative support person. So that person would be the face of the department when somebody comes in for CONCOM, when somebody comes in for zoning, when somebody comes in for planning, when somebody comes in for inspections. There's one person that is Could directing So that. who's handling that now? Right now, part of it is in Priscilla. Priscilla's doing planning and CONCOM. Pat's doing board of health. And I'm zoning. doing and zoning. I'm doing planning. Dick handles some of it. Dick handles some administration. What we don't have right now is we don't have anybody that can work with new businesses on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. We're, and I don't know if you realize, but the storage, self-storage building, and Bruce can correct me if I'm wrong, that's the first new business building that was built in this town in 20 years. Oh, so, Cumberland. Cumberland. Cumberland Farms closed an existing to move over. Didn't well, create a new business. Five times bigger. But <laughs> the self-storage building is the first the real business. Sold from four or five thousand to twenty-five thousand. Okay. Took us three Minor years. Detail. Took us three years to get that business that. permitted. Okay. We need to move forward with the town to, to create. Well, first business. thing you got to do is have training sessions, put a planning board, and say, "Don't throw all the businesses out of town." I'll tell you what. I'll guarantee you this. Within the next 60 days, I'll hold a I'll have a training session held by a professional for free with the zoning board and the planning board to go over regulations. Great. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. I can do that within 60 days. <clears throat> I think that'd be great. I've already had that offer made to me. You already are working on it. So I guess this is a comment. But I think it's absolutely essential that whatever that position it's called in the select board's office that's not filled be filled as quickly as possible mm -hmm. on a full-time basis and by the sound of it I think it makes sense to look at that as a tax exempt or whatever you want to call it not tax exempt exempt employee yeah exempt position. an exempt position uh, and not just an hourly uh, oh, yeah. and if if that position were advertised by the end of the week, I'd be very happy. Okay. I'd be less than happy if it wasn't advertised by the end of the week. Is that, I guess you're, I'm being, you're gonna that's be a little, not. You're going to be less than happy. But you'll be more happy next week. <coughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, the, board has, the board has agreed to put it on their next agenda to address. So pretty thank much you. the same as Skip said, uh, uh, you know, especially after we get up revenue forecast and so forth, it's 20,000, 22,000 sounds great. But if you incorporate that into a full-time position, now you've got to start adding benefits on and everything else for ever. Okay, and so this is what bothers me is I'm not arguing the need for help in this building. I've seen it time and time again myself. But um, as far as adding it on is you know, increasing somebody's hours uh, to make it full-time position and so forth, uh, I think I would investigate either temp help or uh, Find another app. The problem with temp health, Bruce, is that it really is. is it, I don't want to say it's skilled help, but I know you know, you, I know you've got to have somebody that's a little bit sharp and, and, and is yeah. knows what's going on. I know. And, but, uh, you and start adding the benefits on year after year as, as well I as know, automatic five to I know, to but this, again, this department. Uh, it just gets out of hand. This department needs that work. We we are collecting the fees from that department. You and are that, right now. You are yes. right now. But down the road, you're not going to be. Bruce, that's not true. The footprint, the, the schools have the same footprint. The nonprofits have the same footprint. They continually upgrade <clears throat> their campuses to, to keep current and attract students. Even during the recession, they were still pulling building permits. I just, again, I understand that. This is, if you is, looked at every year, for every year that I have been a select board member, you, I can guarantee that the department has pulled in many, many more thousands of dollars. Really, and here, and we used to have clerical support in there. We no longer do. We do. We need more than just Priscilla. I'm arguing the amount of support. What I'm arguing is the uh, putting on full-time positions. But we that's need. My, a, that's my comment. Okay, but we need a full-time position. What's, what's a relationship between this twenty-two thousand? 
and the uh, Board of Health increase of 24,000. Well, what are you splitting what this Diana, up? So you hiring Diana, one full time per yeah, person? Yes, she split. And she put it into two different departments, so it looks like we're not getting anything. No, 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 no. no. I just, as what I said before, I wanted to have it. I wanted the. Ref I didn't want to make any, um, any supposition, any, any, uh, you know, ideas about what the positions were going to look like. But I wanted to give you what I thought, you know, the value should be. So. I simply again took the same value of what you're paying in support in the in the inspections department now, and yes, I did duplicate that amount in the board of health department. Presuming again that we're separating, we you've had a health agent commissioner position for for some time now. We're separating those positions out, so you're going to have a health agent and you're going to have a commissioner. So and and as I said, with the commissioner, you have all those land use functions. So the idea is when the health agent is working separately that that person is working with the health agent to support that position which primarily has been done mostly by pat but in a very clerical you know way not being in the same office and then i think maybe is absorbed a little bit by by dick himself but i, I think it's very difficult to said. have a half-time health agent and you're expecting that half-time health agent to also do all their own administrative work so what we did dick and i sat down and to make this more realistic diana made it we wanted to make it look pretty for you but we really I, I, that's a mischaracterization no well the board of health, pretty for you well the board of health really needs about eight hours okay so you're going to add ninety eight hundred dollars ninety eight seventy one sixty eight at the current rate that we pay for SOA um, for, for health clerical support. But backing up, we need more support for the building department, planning department. So it's, it's a full-time position plus. And, and so it's not as clean hour-wise that way. But truthfully, what the Board of Health needs is eight to 10 hours a week in clerical support. And the, but the building inspecting department needs more than a full-time person if they're going to, especially if they take on the planning, conservation, but that's, and administration. Right, but that's and so that's, but this is that's what will be determined by the building commissioner the exact hour breakdown. But I'm just talking it, about justification from you know, hours. <laughs> well, I, I was just going to say it seems to me like this is a role that is currently under construction, but there's a very good sense of how many hours it needs to be. It's going to be a boundary spanning role, and it sounds to me like even though it's adding a person for payroll, which I don't like, it is working smarter, not harder. So, you know, I'd rather have somebody who can do these multiple functions, and I think that makes a lot of sense. But, you know. These, these both are clerical positions. They're not, uh, uh, I don't want to use the word professional, but they're not people. They're, they're not planning right. positions. No, they're, they're admin, they're administrative in nature. I mean, what you would used to call clerical, they, I think now we call sort of administrative. But I mean at, the, at a, you know, at a level, at the system level. You've got them coming in at a step six, though, is the way I Well, see again, it. I put that in there for the illustration, John. It could be less, depending on the position. But I, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't know, again, I wanted just to make sure that, um, that it's, it's robust enough. Um, so. it's ro it is robust enough, I can tell you. <laughs> I, I think just really... Just like I, I voted I, against last year, increasing a planner. You have the planning board that turns around and hires a cog to do different things. How much money do they spend every year? Right, so let me speak to that. So part of the way that I, I would propose to recoup some of this money is we are no longer going to have the contract with the cog for what the town was paying. There's a contract with the cog and some of it comes from the peer review money, but some actually comes from the planning board revolving fund. And what I'm proposing is that money would basically go back into this proposal. The the person we were working with at the fur cog has retired. If I could see retired. that in black and white, I'd probably vote for it. But the problem is uh, Let me think of how I can get it in black and white. It's <laughs> about 15,000 was the contract. 
thousand dollars a year to do that work. Correct. So my proposal is we're not gonna we're not gonna have that contract with the cog anymore because we're gonna have staff that has the capacity to do that work. And that's gonna be a benefit to the town. It's gonna to be an investment in the town to have somebody. You've been using the cog for a long time, I think like ten years or fifteen a long time. And you're one of the only communities that uses the cog in that way that doesn't have, you know, staff. And you rely a lot on the planning board. And that is a, you know, I would, I would venture to say, if you're going to expect the kind of work that the planning board needs to be producing in these kinds of times, then you ought to be thinking about compensating the planning board as, as an elected board like you do your other elected boards. Because I know from the year I've been working here, working with John Waite, the amount of time just that that person, and I know there's other folks on the planning board that do, you know, that are just as invested, but I'm just saying just the chairman alone, the amount of time that he invests in the board is, is substantial. And he needs support. And we're not, we're not even, um, we're not getting our work done on, on time. We're not meeting our deadlines, and that's causing problems for our applicants. And ultimately, it's going to cost the town in, you know, legal costs if we don't do, if we don't have the right administrative support to meet all of those regulatory requirements that are coming at us. So you think you're going to hire one person and take 20000 here and 20000 there? Say 40000 hire an $80,000 position to go in there for 40000 No, John. No. You're, you're telling no. me that you're going to no, take, I'm saying I'm get going somebody that's good and qualified and they can do that work. Right. Anybody that you hire entry level can't do that work. That's the... I don't think that's true in administrative support. I, I think in terms of the, the planning executive assistant position, that, that position is funded already, and, and I, but I think it's fine in terms of the funding for that position. But that, I agree. But I think the administrative support, I think the funding you have is, is appropriate for, for, you know, yes, it's gonna be relatively entry level, but we're talking about, you know, a lot of being on the computer, greeting the public, you know, printing out permits, doing, you know, things like that. I think that that, that starting, that those wages seem appropriate to me. I mean, maybe in Deerfield, I'm wrong, but. <laughs> Questions? Yeah. Sure, go ahead. Um, is it worth trying to hire one part-time person, keep facilities part-time, that way the office would be open same hours as the town hall, you would have a full-time operation there. You wouldn't have limited hours as you currently have. And you'd only be hiring a part-time person, no benefits. So instead of hiring a full-time person, you'd have the full operation of that space. Somebody would be at the desk 40 hours a week. It just makes more sense if we have, I mean, you're gonna have slow days, you're gonna have busy days. And they're going to even themselves out. Are you going to sit there for eight hours and not have to do anything? There's nobody comes through the door. You have no work to do. I'm just thinking that three people or three, uh, one full time, one half time is a lot to take on without having a plan. Uh, hiring a half time person would fill the gap, make that office open 24 seven, and the same hours as the town hall, and it would it would give uh, the appropriate assistance to the commissioner and the building and, uh, board of health that's my thought um, I, I think we'd be willing to try only reason is because we, we desperately need help oh i agree you need help but i don't right. i don't I'm sure you need that other half person i just don't like the step i mean you got the assistant the town administrator is a step three um and you act what is it at a step six or something pardon is, that what it, is, is it reflecting in a you're saying it's the position No, the on assistant there. town administrator now is a step three. Oh, oh. Okay. And you want to hire somebody to be essentially an, an assistant administrator for the inspections and health departments. I like, think I think Diana was just using Priscilla's ring. Yeah, no, yeah, I Yeah, but I just I I, no, that I don't know. Person, I'm, I'm, I'm John, looking at your request and I think what you're doing is requesting somebody that maybe might be overqualified for what you need. Based on the rate. On, on which one, though, John? Which one are you talking about? Because I, I'm. The person you're requesting, the new person. On the admin, additional admin support person? I don't yeah. have any amount there. Well, it could Oh, on the, board, on the board of health part? If they're going to work full time, it calculates to 2370. No. 
Are you talking about the yeah, admin support? Yeah, 2373 and out. Are you talking about the admin support line and the Board of Health? Yes. Both of them. Okay, so the admin support line in the inspections budget, I don't have any number. I don't have any grade. I don't have anything. We just have a number on the line, 22,000. Board of Health, I could have done the same thing. I didn't have Brenda take out the illustration of the hours and the grade. I should have, and I could have just put 22 in. It's an illustration. And I get what you're saying, that these are valued at positions. But what I'm telling you is that we can hire somebody for half time for that money. We have somebody working here now in that position that's been here. So I'm certain we can hire somebody for this amount and maybe less. Well, we took. But we haven't determined any of that yet. Just what I think the value might be. The town the has a. Ask. I don't know if it's policy. I assume it's policy. Where clerical support when we're hiring them are hired at step three or less step one if possible most of the people in that office were hired at step one great one step yeah. one right. well right. step one yeah mm -hmm. and uh, so i don't know why we can't hire clerical people elsewhere in the building at step one or step two or certainly no more than step three i think we yes would try to i think that's exactly what we would do yeah. Tonight, but you're, you're asking blessing. us to bless something that's a step six. You're saying just in case, but no, maybe. I'm not actually, John. I, I hear what I understand what you're saying. No, I'm not saying that I would that this would be a step six. I just put in you're the dollar asking us value to approve a step six, and uh, the value of a step six. <clears throat> you're right. So if you you know if you wanted to look at and approve the value of a step three, I think that you know I would. I would be comfortable with that. That's reasonable. Jeff? Just maybe a little compromise here, but uh, Bruce had brought up doing a half-time person with the support staff that you already have, and that would address this other Bruce's concerns about the full-time and the benefits and so on and so forth. Does it make sense to look at that model, try it for a year, and bring it back under review at the end of that year and see how that office is functioning and see if that is working. If it's not working, come back and address a full-time person. If it is working, then leave it well enough alone. And it might, it might, it just, it might give us a way around this whole thing. Sure, I understand. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but I just does. thought it might be a little bit of a compromise. I do understand that. I think that's exactly what these two folks as the department head of the Board of Health are telling you, is that they would be willing to compromise on the Board of Health position next year, that they may, they are thinking maybe they don't need as much support. Granted, I don't think we really know very right. like fully but like you're give saying, us a, a but trial we have more time. Year. But I think, to, but I feel very strongly in the administration, in, in the inspections department. Again, I don't. The point isn't to hire somebody else and then fragment the work because that just creates inefficiency. So then you'll just have two people, and maybe you won't be paying them benefits. But I can tell you, you'll be paying in some way in la in lack of efficiency, in legal costs, in a lot of different ways, ramification-wise, what you would have paid in benefits to one position. That's all I would ask you to consider. So, but, but the way I did put it in there, again, just allowed for the flexibility for the discussion. So uh, the FERCOG individual, what was that position? What was she costing us? 15K. She, well, she had a $15,000 a year contract. Okay. Some of the money for the funding of that contract comes from the peer review. So it's not fully funded from the town. But about I think six to eight thousand or six to ten thousand average in the last several years have come out of the planning board revolving fund. So at least at least and one of the reasons that the sign of a revised contract for twenty thousand because it was requiring too much their time. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. So so that's out of so you're just you know, it's a, just a different pot you're paying it out of, but I would propose that you wouldn't be, we wouldn't be using that money. We're still going to use some peer, peer review services, but paid for by the applicant, that we would try to do that work ourselves. How are you going to get that money out of the peer review and put it into the budget? 
The peer we we build the applicants. We we make an agreement with the applicants. I know, but you've got to have a voted position. No, no. The no. the peer review pays for the for the peer reviewer, whoever the peer reviewer is. We hire that person. Up to the cog. You build the company that's uh, applying for Correct. whatever they want. Correct. And that money comes in, and that's a direct trade-off. Correct. For the person in Greenfield. Or whoever whoever the peer reviewer is. Right. Correct. But I've never seen them take money like that and put it directly into a salary. I thought no. you couldn't do that. No, but no, but what you you can't the money out of the revolving fund you can't use to pay salaries unless you also pay the fringe out of there. So we wouldn't be able to pay any salaries out of the revolving fund of the planning board. But all the fees then the, that go in there, that they the application fees go in there and collect, and they've been using some of that money to pay the cog. Um, a, a contract and what I'm saying they wouldn't be paying that money so that money would build up in the revolving fund presumably and could be moved over into the general fund to offset these costs um, is, that, is that And if somebody's working 19 hours a week, there are no benefits. Right. Well, you have Medicare. Yeah. yeah. So, so again, all open to be discussed in terms of the arrangement of the hours, and what you, you know, what you said, Jeff, too, in terms of you're you're correct. We're still in the ascertainment oh, period. Nice. We're still trying to figure out. You have had this this really sweet arrangement for. What, a couple decades <laughs> now right. and so we're trying to so so coming up with what it is going to look like in the future you know is, is challenging mm -hmm. one of the things is we got to keep it going for a few more years that's good uh, and so, I didn't want the question. we have to have a commissioner we have to have a commissioner i think that can i move the question uh, we'll put it on a whole wavelength you know i i I like the fact that you said, Jeff, that two years trial, and I also like the fact that if you hired somebody, no matter what rate you hire them at, they'd be in a training mode so they could move up the ladder to either full-time mm -hmm. or expand out their usage. Yep, I agree. I, I understand what you two are getting at. That's well, why we really were trying to get down to how many hours like the, plant, the yeah. health department needed and how much. No, I, I, I do appreciate that. And, and but it's uh, since at least to some extent, you know, we haven't seen this before tonight. And uh -huh. it's and, and I'd also I'm not sure the assistant, whatever the position is going to be called in there that we need to that we need advertised by the end of the week. Uh, I'm not sure how that, I, I, I'm, how that fits in. No, but I assume that person fits in here someplace. Yes, absolutely. Not, not the clerical role, but the. the no, you're correct, you're 100% correct. And that's, that's why my only pause for concern about the idea of a half-time person, because it does make some sense in a transitional time, but we had a person in that position already come in for just a month and it was clear that it was too much even just for that there needed to be more support and it wasn't the it wasn't the he was getting right after all of the the top level things we needed to address but some of the minutia immediately started falling all the you know the notices and the advertising and the it's a lot when you're doing it for four or five different groups it's it takes a person just really focused on that so that's the only reason I have you know, concern about backing down on the administrative support piece. So I just don't want to burn through people. It doesn't help us to hire somebody, go through that, and then have them leave if we can't retain people. It's, it's you know, that costs money, too, to do that. So, Bruce. Thank you, Gosh. Uh, I'd like to move the question. <laughs> Which one? We'll vote, on, <laughs> vote on the inspection department payroll. Okay. Second. So inspection department as opposed to uh, Wait, Board of Health. Move the I'm recommendation. For the inspection department. Yeah. 
I have a motion and a second. So this is on item 241-5110. What's your, and you're moving for the amount shown here, the 150? Yes. 1,636, excuse me. We have a motion, we have a second. Do we have any more further discussion? All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. One, two, three. All those opposed? I'm against it. Four. Three in favor, four opposed. Three, four, zero. Yes. So. Thank you. What are you planning to well, do? I, I, I voted against. I'm not against the position. Okay. Because I so think it's needed, but I think you need to plan on spending less money per hour in that person. Can we amend this to calculate that added position at a lower I was just going to say, can you... Just for, because I believe it's a placeholder, so if we place... I, well, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think, I, I, my, my, my vote had nothing to do with okay. it. I mean, that's going to be... So what do you want us to do? Because we're in a crisis. Well, I think what I will do, I, what I would like to do is I'd bring it back to the select board and yeah, inform them that the finance committee has voted board. this way, and then the board okay. needs to decide how to proceed to town meeting. Yeah, exactly. Right. Thank you. Yep. 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 That's the exact truth. Well. I, I would, you know. But I, I, I assume it's going to come I, back. I, I feel like we could be able to do discuss this, and this could be resolved. Cause yeah, we, we, we may bring something back, right? right? We yeah, could, we could it is. We, we, we spent an hour on it at this point in time, and we do have, so it's like. Right. First budget, it only took an hour. We are 17 <laughs> so, hours today. So are you encouraging us to come back with yes, revised? I, come back with a more cogent plan. Okay. Or, okay. Yeah, something that we can, Heard. something that we have better understanding for. So it's like I said, your concern is that, um, or you would like to see more of a part-time position. You want to see the rates less. No, I, I'm I think, not sure what no. I want to see. To be honest right. with you, this is let, this let is new see. enough that more defined position. More defined plan. Yeah. Let me let me reform the plan. Bring it back to the board because you guys are also, you know saying something different than what the board had discussed. So let's make sure we're all together, too. Okay. Well, we're trying I... to make it realistic, so. <laughs> no, all right. I'd like to add a comment would be to also to uh, uh, you know, why we're doing a $3 increase on the uh, two inspectors. I think that's a little bit ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Maybe $3 increase. That's a simple, that's that's a simple <laughs> answer. The, uh, Four hours. Again, I can't talk about the person. Okay, but that is the rate that will keep our inspectors where they are, okay, and not migrate to another town. And I, that's, oh, okay. that's the best I can say about, about okay. that. I would say that we get more than our money's worth out of them presently, and the fees, I believe, are taken care of. Um, the fees are more than, I mean, they're, they're generating double their salary. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt here that, you know, that we're generating enough revenue from all the sources. Uh, the, the, problem that, you know, the problem that I've got is that the, the overall budget and, uh, you know, we have, let's face it, we have been able to use the resources that have come in through the inspections department to, for other places. And now we're being told that we need those to go back to the inspections department. Maybe right, but what are we going to do? What are we going to do elsewise? Well, we need some of the resources back. We don't need all of them, but we need some no, to understand. maintain yeah. this department. Okay. Well, we'll come back with another suggestion then. Yeah, and and uh, you know, I. He didn't vote on the board of health. Well, I think. Yeah, that's 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 Yes. Yes. So let's then go back so that we can get something out of this to uh, 2, 241 5400. That's the inspections department expense, which is $4,600. Same as last year. No. Is that enough work already? Actually, it's a reduction from last year. It's on book, yes. We eliminated $3,000 in 
general expenses for building inspector, gas inspector, plumbing, and wiring inspector. We eliminated their expenses. Oh, we did that the year before. We did also? No, yeah, they aren't in there for the current year, I should say. When I say last year, I mean 2019. Yeah. We eliminated them year. last the year. New ones came out. Because we weren't we weren't using them. Okay. So it was eliminated in 2018. So this budget is the same as it was last Sa year. Same as 2019. Right. Okay. Oh, we, yeah. we need a we need a new sheet. I guess. Second. Second. Wait a minute. I don't have a sheet. Uh, we don't have a sheet for 2000. I have an old one. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, and that's one that says $4,600? Yes. It's different than one you I have a different one than you have. Okay. The one? How much yours printed? It's down the bottom. Two, ten, two, one. He has one, two, one. I have one, one, twenty-eight. And mine says 2019 is a header. Mine is the one um, that uh -huh. I'm referring to as 128. I'm, so, I'm sorry, sorry. About that. I don't know. This is the one I have. This is the two, one? No. He's got a different one. This, this is the one I got. That's this one right here. And whether it was printed on the 28th or not doesn't matter. It's still the same thing. So no, it's not the same information. 2019. Oh, why? Why do you have 2019? I don't know. Do not oh, he's got the one. Okay. I, yeah, yeah. I don't understand what the problem printed. is. I have the right one, and it's the only one I have. Those are, those are yeah. That's I have one that says 2118. I don't know why. There's no change, so why don't we just leave it? And we vote. Yeah. Okay, so we're voting on, well, well. You got a motion and a second. You got a motion and a second. Who motion? Sorry. I did. Bruce. Bruce. Yes. Second. Second by? I did. John? Yep. For $4,600 for inspections department expenses. There are no questions. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? Yes. Seven zero zero. Now let's take a look at Board of Health expense. So we're passing over the salary. Five, 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 five. Correct. Oh, okay. Correct. So that's five twelve fifty four hundred. So we are passing over five twelve fifty one ten. Yeah, I didn't want to spend another hour uh, talking about that. So we're pushing that one back to the next. Meeting. The next agenda. Yeah. So, any questions here? Mileage is up. Yes, it's just more reflective of what we've been charged. Mm -hmm. The mileage is gas. Yeah, that's that's gas that we pay yep. through um, the police department's uh, account. I have a question on mosquito control. The district. <laughs> Could you explain that, Carol? <coughs> um, the district we have we have formed a district. We just do do not at this point have a supervisor. We have the salary for a supervisor for approximately 18 months through the grant um, that we received. So that's why the 11,000 is just the same um, because I'm anticipating that we will be lava siding um, the money that we appropriated last year has not been spent to date but yeah. we uh, would anticipate using that eleven thousand dollars that you appropriated last year for lava siding and some testing in the spring so um, we had twenty two thousand dollars uh no we didn't carry it over no 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 okay so this spend. new amount would would be the a fee to continue with the mosquito district plus testing plus lava siding okay, for good. this current year. Last year in town meeting floor, you said the $11,000 was not going to be for mosquitoes. It was going to be for ditch cleaning? I said that we had appropriated it for a mosquito, but we had gotten a grant to cover all our, and, and DPH had offered to do testing, and we had gotten a grant to cover expenses, so I was hoping to use it towards um, use, doing the ditching. And but we we've had it. such a wet year that I would anticipate that some of that money would be paid for lava siding in the spring. We're going to have lots of mosquitoes problems in so the spring. So we're going to 
do so I mean, I, I have the same no type of testing as we do, plus we're going to lava side. Right. As and we all did in money, 2018. Right. And all money that is not used for lava siding and testing would roll over towards hopefully ditch cleaning at some point. Uh, we're, we're trying to do some kind of strategy. If we don't have a supervisor that our highway department can work under, then maybe we can do a townwide conservation um, permit, Conservation Commission kind of permit. So, so I'm working with um, the uh, executive director of the Mass Association of Conservation Districts, but so they have their big training this weekend, so I don't have any further information until they get done this so weekend. So be clear, are we going to subcontract with a firm to do mosquito testing? No, no. We are still going to go through DPH, but at some point DPH will not be so doing it. So eleven thousand dollars is mosquito control. So that means that we're going to use it for lava side, some ditch cleaning, and well, I will stretch it as much as I can, obviously, to do ditch cleaning because that's sort of what the whole purpose of this was. So that would be in the highway department. Or we're going to subcontract that out. Well, um, I know Kevin um, had had on his capital request. Uh, a mini excavator that um, is a, I wouldn't say was not embraced 100% by the Capital Improvement Committee. Um, so you, at this point, we'd probably subcontract out with Colcott or somebody that had the ability or rent a mini excavator for a year or two until um, the Capital Improvement Committee um, could see justification for the mini excavator. Somehow we've got to maintain our ditches, and if if we contract it out, that would be some of where the um, money would come for the rental of a mini excavator. At some point, it would make be cost effective for us as a town to buy one, but I, it's hard for me to say we're going to use it this year because we don't have a supervisor. It's much more difficult to find so, a qualified person. So it could for this just be job. a placeholder. Yeah. It could be. Okay. We haven't spent a dime of the eleven thousand already that we appropriated last year. I know. But um so it will just roll it you know, if we don't spend it, we don't spend it. But I would anticipate we would use lava siding. One of the th one of the things that is um, people don't understand is that our, our catch basins are, are not connected to any drain. So when the water goes into it, it's more or less a, just a holding area on yeah, our catch a, basins. They were four foot sump, which is the holding area. All catch basins required to be built currently will hold water for four feet. It's called the four foot sump. If we could larvicide every catch basin in town, that would control that issue. And that's what we intend to do with with eleven thousand dollars. Well, some of the money. It's okay. not. It's not that expensive, especially if our highway department. We does don't it. do it now. We have been doing it. Okay. Our highway department saves us a lot of money by doing it ourselves. We operate under Dick's license. If we, when we have the Mosquito District and we have a supervisor, we'd have somebody that would have a license. We could operate under that. Um, as a matter of fact, I called. Kat, uh, Dr. Brown, our state vet, trying to find out when the training was to send some of our highway guys to be trained to have their um, license. And then we could operate that. It's much cheaper, obviously, to throw in our own discs than to hire someone to do it. I would, I would love to uh, entertain a motion to take this $11,000 out of here, but it seems, what's that old? It seems like we've done that before, and there was something about an old like adage two of, years in a row, so. yeah. there's yeah. been something like an old adage of, you know, if you keep doing the same thing year over after over year and expecting a different result, right. something okay. like that. So in any event, uh, could I have a motion on this one way or the other? I'll move to recommend the um, item number, what is it, 5125400, the Board of Health Expense. At 39493? At 39493. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second it to get it on the table. Uh, any further discussion? If there is none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? 
proposed proposed the last year for the 11. Okay. Um, abstentions. So four in favor, one opposed, two abstentions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't go away. This has been fun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I was going to say, don't go away, because we're going to go back and, and take a look at the select board budgets. Okay. Okay, let's start with the select board staff salaries. 122, 5110. Do the board of health salaries while Dick's still here? Still. We put on hold. No, we're putting on hold. Did? Yes. Scripted. I did. I'm not going to go through the list. It's got the same $22,000. Okay. Oh, Kevin. Okay. 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 Um, I would defer uh, to Kevin if you okay. want to go ahead and take That would be fine. Uh, are, is that all right with everybody? Yep. Yes. Okay. So in that case, we're going to go down to 422. 5110. This is General Highway Payroll. Was that handed out tonight? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Uh, maybe. Come on. 226. Yeah. Yes, it was. All right, which one you want? I'm sorry. Uh, General Highway Payroll. 422 5110. General Highway Payroll. Okay. Just a clerical error. I we believe um, if you add the seventy thousand eight seventy two and fourteen thousand <coughs> one seventy four, it's ten dollars difference than multiplying the two hundred ninety two thousand nine ninety six hours times forty fifty eight. Bruce, which line over over, over ten dollars? Yeah, no, I'm just saying, we, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying there is an error there. Um, in, so, you better calculate. The total salary is $85,055.68. I come up with a 45 cent difference. It's because. The rounding errors? Because. The rounding? Because his, yeah, his, his rate was 39.78, and I took 39.78 times 1.02. Okay. Which is the two percent. Yeah. So obviously there was. There's just I, I a round. Not round it off to two That's fine. Yeah. Okay. We came up to ten. But. Guess I get a question. Okay. Sure. Are go you ahead. Ready? Yep. Go ahead. Summer help, um, which I think is great. Yep. All right. Somebody for twelve bucks an hour. But yep. is that going to free up more time for other people during the summer, Kevin? Yeah, the, basically the way I'm looking at it is, is if I can get two summer help at 12 bucks an hour, 40 hours a week, 480, uh, 40 hours a week, 480 times 10 weeks times two is $9,600. Yeah. So I rounded up to 10 grand. At this point in time right now, you are paying two people $22 and 10 cents each. Plus benefits. Two and a half, two and right. a half to three days a week during the summer when I could be utilizing them to be doing all other kinds of things. Like clean ditches. Eventually. Like clean ditches. So, we, I'm not, yep. I'm just, mm -hmm. we asked for level service, so this is not level service. That's correct. Okay. Yep. No, we, I'm not saying it's We wrong. encourage, yeah, no. this is, this is, I was working with Kevin on this because we, we want level services, but we want to get efficiency out of our dollars. And this is much more efficient and we have opportunities to do other things because um, hopefully we'll be getting some matches. You know, we need a match for grants. If we get this mitigation grant, then Kevin will be using some backhoe time, um, you know, in the Wapping Road area. Um, mosquito control eventually, um, that kind of thing. Good, Chris. Um, are we adding um, the foreman to the wastewater treatment plant this I'm year? I'm sorry? The foreman in 160 hours, is, it, is this the first year it's being added to the wastewater treatment plant? Negative. 
last few two? That is correct. Okay. Yeah, because realistically, wastewater treatment, um, the reason why it's under wastewater treatment is yeah. for, um, <laughs> You're on. Is for uh, uh, sewer line maintenance. Okay, so okay. like we have backups yep. and things like that. Yep. Um, we have to be able to charge it out to the wastewater treatment plant because yep. the wastewater treatment plant and highway are two completely separate entities funded by two separate funds. All, all so that's why I'm Thank trying you. to separate them yep, completely. I see it there. Thank you. Yep. So, so the ten just the ten thousand yep. dollars is slightly more than two percent, if I remember correctly. Uh, so the budget would have been in the just slightly over three yep. percent. Uh, three point three six. Okay, and uh, the ten thousand for the two part timers. Brings and, and we had talked. We had talked about that for the yeah. last two years, in particular. Last year, I remember the finance committee uh, suggested that we do it, and it, it didn't happen last year. So I'm, I'm I'm happy happy that it's doing it this year. Any other questions on the budget? How do you can, figure the? Can, uh, um, hang yeah, on, one Jack. other. I guess. Okay. All right. Thank you. One then. Picture. These new things that the, your regular guys are going to be doing, Kevin, because there's more time available to them. Correct. Is that will be still done at overtime then, instead of cutting back on overtime? And no, but if he keeps them, to, if he has them do other new things, they'll still be getting overtime for those other new things. I'm confused. But the the, the point is that we're taking somebody who's. Uh -huh. Who is making twenty five dollars an hour? Basically, I'm able to get two kids and we're for one, one full time, yeah. part time, which invertly gives me one other person to go out and do do other more, stuff, do other more. things, oh. more things. But that uh, that person that's <laughs> doing do, do other stuff is since yeah. they already get overtime. I'm assuming they're going to continue to get overtime to be paid for that. Other oh, of course, they will. Yeah, yeah, right. because there's still going to be work that has to happen, very similar to past two days you know every time we get a little bit of ice that's overtime uh, last night it actually started at nine o'clock yesterday morning and I think the last person finally clocked out at about one o'clock this morning for chasing trees that's all overtime so they're the people are going to have overtime regardless right so it's not going to make a difference whether I bring summer help in or not the overtime is still going to be there the only people that are not going to get the overtime is going to be the summer help because they're going to be strictly doing manual things like mowing lawns, maybe we can get some painting done, some other things very similar to that, that do not require a license. Um, I was just going to say, it makes a lot of sense, Kevin. Be, be hydraulics, whether it be right. the CDL, whether it be whatever else we may end up having to have. You know, because like right now, like I hold six hydraulics licenses. So um, it's pretty, pretty expensive. Long story short is, you can't expect a kid in college because we're hoping to. I don't want to hire anybody less than 18 years old. If you go less than 18 years old, then you start running into all kinds of, of, of stipulations. What you can, you can't. The hours, oh yeah, you can run a weed whacker, but no, you can't run it with a, with a saw blade on the end of it. Yeah. I don't need that. No. I need somebody to come in and do a job. Get the job done and then move on. And they're covered by our liability insurance. That would be, that would be correct. So it's, it's, it's straight up 12 bucks an hour. It's very similar. What I, actually, what I did was I reached out to Montague and said, what do you guys do? And they said, we bring them on at minimum wage. They come back the next year. We'll go ahead and we'll give them a little bit more money. I said, okay. That's true. So that's what I did. Okay. Any, right. any further check? How do you determine the 235 hours of overtime? Yeah, it's a ballpark guess. I mean, you can throw a dart in a wall. And everybody on and that and actually that 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 number has been I believe that number has been 235 for at least the past seven to eight years so but that number has been exactly the same and, and every so year that you've already looked at this the past seven to eight years yep. that's an estimate John. It's, it's an estimate it's a ballpark then the when we have uh, settle out for snow and ice over it that usually picks it up to anything additional but that doesn't mean that everybody works exactly oh, 235 hours. No, no, okay. no. I may end up having somebody that only works 100 hours, and I may have somebody that works 233.75. I don't know. 
or 250 or 400. Exactly. Okay. okay. So most of your overtime is in the winter? Um, no, not necessarily. I mean, summertime, uh, trees, trees are killer for me. They really are. I mean, we're continually going out for trees. That's what our summertime issue is. Obviously, this time of year is basically snow and ice. But, but it was trees yesterday. Trees last night, trees yesterday. Yeah, we had a boatload of, boatload of roads that were closed, got them open back up as soon as we could. The only ones we couldn't jump on right off the bat were the ones that, that involved wires. So we were at the mercy of uh, Eversource. So, so yeah, so there's no guarantee. We're not saying that these guys are going to get 235 hours worth of overtime every single solitary person. Just basically says that I am budgeting for that. Mm -hmm. Any further questions? No. Motion? Motion to move General Highway Patrol 422-5110 in the amount of 487708. I'll second that. Mo motion to second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, abstentions? So that's unanimous. Six of us or seven? Seven. Seven. Everybody's here. Including those. General highway expenses. The next item, 422 5400. <clears throat> and I've got one that's. Uh, there's, there's two things I went up on. I went the one up I've got is dated 1 9. I have 1 4. 1 9. That's the one I've got. That's what I got. One nine. Yeah, one nine nineteen. Mm-hmm. Same though, right? Twenty-two fifty-four hundred. Yeah, I don't What's the dollar value? It's basically called. Uh, two hundred forty-one six fifty. Yeah, that's what I have to. It's pretty much uh, called. Right yeah. dollar amount. Good. And in the final analysis, that really is all that counts because you can move the stuff around. But What's that? Nothing. <laughs> So basically your increase here is uh, I put in $6,000 for culverts. Um, as you can see, since 2014, there's never been anything put in there and um, my culverts are failing. I need to start getting into them. Is that and, replacement? And that was, that was the replacements and replacements for repairs. And then $250 additional for beaver removal because you went up to $125 a beaver instead of $100 a beaver. And that only counts for 10 and Historically, we go through a lot more than that, but that's the number I'm throwing in there. Okay. So uh, any, any more questions? Yeah, culvert, cost of the culvert, purchasing the material, is that what it's for? Uh, it's a combination of, of materials, and to be honest with you, I'm, I'm bumping this in because a lot of these culverts I'm not going to be able to do with a backhoe, so I plan on renting a, back, uh, plan on renting a mini. Okay. So. That's right. Uh, building maintenance, it's a new, new item last year. How'd it work out? It's working out okay, you know, because I mean, Originally, you know, most people don't really think about, you know, well, it's a brand new building, what do you have to do to it? Yeah. Well, I have sprinkler systems, I have to, Test. my fire alarm systems have to be done. You know, obviously because of the, the graciousness of the town, of being able to have more than one door in and one door out of the, the bay doors, those need maintenance. I mean, the building needs maintenance. It's, it's not a, a, a freebie, you buy it, it's done. So this is your building down there, the is, highway? That is correct. Because town office buildings, Good. the side of the highway, not an are a separate budget. Good. Thank you. Um, a couple questions I'd like to ask Kevin, and sure. I'm not putting you on the spot. I'm asking the other department has the same thing. Um, a lot of these numbers are the same all the way across every year, and uh, and I know when you get uh, you know budget for two forty one six fifty, it's your right to move in, out, and around wherever it needs to be fill in. Just out of curiosity, which uh, and Brenda, I don't know what you can help on this, which line items are you consistently <coughs> underfunded in that you have to move monies from other areas? Could you answer that? I think every year is, is different, but I... Well, I can anything you, consistently. I, well, I can tell you right now, last year was building maintenance because I had nothing. Yeah. Oh. Um, I went over on line painting by $2,268.26. Uh, hand tools, uh, replacements, I went over by $2,700. 
sewer and heat, 122. Electricity, 52 dollars. Uh, my expense, 16 dollars and 60 cents. <coughs> and clothing allowance by 263 dollars and 77 cents. Those are all overages, right? That is correct. Now, what I do is, is, is I don't put it into another line item to hide it. I'm not, when, no, I'm not. Right, no, but I, I'm, I'm saying this so everybody hears and the people in TV land here. These are my real numbers, and this is the way I, I try and run it. Because if I try and manipulate the numbers, then be honest, would you? It'd be pretty easy to get confused. And it's a hell of a lot easier for me just to stay truthful. I know exactly where my money's going, then that way when somebody asks me, I can tell you exactly every penny where it went. Um, I look at last year's, like 2018, which is what I'm looking at right here. I utilize that, look and see where I'm at. I look at the year before, FY17. How am I comparing? Am I doing okay? And if you actually, if you notice, you know, I've been, I've been trying to reduce my budget down to level funding. Last year I went down by 2.89%. Uh, so realistically, if anything, um, just a tad bit over of what I was last year. No, it's, it's not nothing. Nothing to say here. Oh yeah, just, no, just no, for no, our no. own benefit. You know, sure. if there were some lines that were being you know, way shortchanged, right. and you had to do things, then maybe it's time for us to look at that line rather mm -hmm. than question it. That's all. The ones, the one that usually gets me, to be honest with you, is tree work. I mean, right now I'm low on my tree work because we've been holding back, um, and it's because historically springtime is when we usually start getting the storms which is where we really start having our issues. That, and we try and get into the trees before the foliage really starts coming in. You get the opportunity of seeing the buds on the trees, so you understand what's live, what's dead, so when you get in there and start pruning stuff out, you know exactly what you've got. Um, and again, you know, this time of year, you know, I, right now I've got probably ballpark, 17 to 22 stumps that need to be done, but I really can't do it this time of year. Yep. You know, Thank you. Just messy. How do you know that? I'm I'm just trying to balance out what I have, you know, because like because like last year, FY18, by the time it was all said and done with everything that I spent, I turned back in twenty seven thousand dollars. Yeah. You know, so so again, what I try and do is I, I try and balance out what I have, and if, and if I got to steal from Peter to pay Paul as far as monies are concerned, but still show where the monies went, right. then that is, that is the direction I'm going. Right. That's, um, that's realistically, I mean, if I, if I wanted to be true to it, I should actually be coming in here and saying, you know what, I need 60 grand just in culverts. Right. And I need 60 grand in culverts for the next 10 years. Right. And that'll just get me somewhat complete. Not so, total complete, but somewhat complete. We so, are trying to do them with grants, though. So that, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to do the best we can with what we got for the money that we have. Realistic. John. Got a question on your heat, water, and sewer. Yes, sir. Have you ever taken a look to see what you're supposed to be using for heat? I presume it's still all gas heat. And how much you spend in a year on gas heat? That I can't tell you off the top of my head. But if you actually look at the difference between uh, 2014 and 2019, you're only talking a nine hundred and twenty dollar difference in five years okay then how about the water and sewer how much you spend on water and how much you spend on sewer i can't break it down. Uh, hold on a second fy8 uh, i can't break it down because it's, they're all three together yeah I, I would have to i would have to break it down even further because that's not how it's broken down here so i can give you the answer but i can't give you the answer right now could you give me the answer later yeah so you it's gonna cost you a cup of coffee more, more than that. So you, you pay, you pay sewer charges as other, every other town building. That is correct. So that's going to be increasing. That is correct. And, and, so we, and we actually pay on our low flow side because we have two meters. Yeah. We have a low flow and a high flow. So our high flow, which is where we're washing down our trucks and, and, and watering up things as we need to, excuse me, is through the high flow, which is not charged against the sewer. So... I hope it's enough. So. Yeah, well, the thing, my concern is I just want to make sure there's a relationship between the water and the sewer. Mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that they're charging something for the sewer. Oh, they're charging something for the sewer. Like 
I can I can tell you that. I can tell you that there, every building in town is being charged for a sewer. Okay. Okay. Any further questions? Just one discussion? question. Trevor made a comment um, that we had spent ten thousand dollars in culverts. I just, I don't know how you know that, but we, we, the committee doesn't have that in its report. Well, Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, what what line item is it going under, Brenda? What's that? Culverts. What? Culverts. It's going under culverts. So that's going to be overspent. Yes. Compared to what was appropriate. Zero. Yeah, right. nothing appropriate. It was nothing right. appropriate. Yeah. All right. So I'll make a motion to approve the general highway expense budget. I'll second it. Two hundred forty-one thousand six hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Okay. We have a motion. We have a second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? So that's seven zero zero. Yep. Okay. Next. Uh, winter snow and ice removal. The only thing that I'll point out there is uh, uh, the next page, 423-5400. Uh, we can't go less than 90000 Why? If we go less than 90000 we have a problem with the yeah, DOR. Great. Can't go less, back, basically. Less than we and we spend substantially more. Exactly. Uh, Maybe we'll get lucky, but we, we, if you notice, we we tossed in fifty thousand yeah. dollars for snow and ice shortage. So we're looking at probably in the one forty range, maybe maybe more, depending on the storms. Motion to move winter snow and ice removal four twenty three fifty four hundred for ninety thousand. Second, moved and seconded. Uh, any further questions or all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Extensions seven zero zero. And then the next one, street lights. Street lighting. Four twenty four fifty four hundred. That's two thousand less than last year, and I'll let Kevin explain um, that. Basically what we're trying to do is where we looked at the opportunity. I shouldn't say we Brenda was one of the brought up to my attention on that we have an opportunity of uh, our solar credits. So we figured we'd go ahead and just try and bring it down a little bit, and that way it's going to save a little money. Yeah. Save what we can. In worst case scenario, what do you have for an option with the solar credits? That I couldn't tell. That's we're we're going to get them well anyway, so right? we've, we've paid for them or whatever it is. We're, we have one project, I think, that we're getting some net metering credits off of. Um, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what the kilowatt hours we're getting, but it's minimal. And we, when we're doing our, uh, we're in the process of an RFQ for our solar landfill project. Um, so the discussion there is that we might take additional net metering credits as part of that project as well. But we do have some that we take now, and some of them are applied to the streetlights. So. And, and just so you know, just for full disclosure, there has been a public um, appetite for more streetlights, I guess I would say. There's been some public outreach to the administrator's uh, office about adding streetlights. I mentioned this to Kevin in light of the cost savings, and he uh, explained to me that the desire of the town was to conserve power, not just save money. So in light of that, you know, I'm not recommending adding, you know, turning on any streetlights, but just so you know, that is a constituent um, concern that has been brought to my office. So. And I hear it probably once every other week. Safety, are we reviewed it for safety concerns? Well, I mean, who has safety concerns, come right over and park right in my front yard and look at the 75 people to walk by my house every night in a black street. No, they're not complaining about their street yeah. and not one, not one light went out on their street. I understand. Um, is there safety issues? I believe there's safety issues. Um, but, you know, like I said, it was, it was other, I, none of the decisions of which street lights would be taken out was, was brought on by me. Yeah. Um, it was basically the energy committee, you know, and I understand what they're trying to do is 
attempting to reduce our carbon footprint, you know, obviously save some money at the same time. You know, possibly in the future, you know, could we possibly come up with the seventy, eighty thousand dollars, whatever it's going to cost, to buy out our existing street lights and go ahead and turn on to LEDs. Going that route, you can probably again going on the theory of saving your carbon footprint. You can add more lights. It's going to cost you more money, but it's just like anything else. You want to be green? It's going to cost you more money. So. Motion to move street lighting for twenty four fifty four hundred. Second. Moved and second, 37,000. All those in favor? All right. Aye. Opposed? 7 0, extension 7 0 0. Uh, Kevin, just uh, let's see, we've got transfer station. Yep. Compactor went down is because we now own it. Is that it? I'm sure. The trash compactor is three thousand less this year. Is that? Yeah, because we're, we're we're purchasing. We're purchasing our, our own this year. Yeah. Okay. Yes, <clears throat> Payroll. Payroll has gone up. Um, basically, what we're looking at is hold on a second. I don't think I got the right one in front of me. Gone from thirty-three five to forty-seven thousand. No, I mean my copy. Okay. No, I got one here, but I just didn't have the. Right here. This is 16 hours. Okay. Basically, what we're looking at is uh, we talked. We collectively, I talked with the select board, and we were talking about bringing on a an additional person for Tuesdays and Thursdays. And you know, originally it was there was other thoughts and processes as to the reasons why. And realistically, what it all boils down to is safety. Um, you really can't have somebody there working by themselves with the machinery, with the amount of flow that they have there. And to be honest with you, are there still people slipping through? Yeah, I'm sure there probably is. Is there people still throwing stuff into the bulky item bin because one person can't be everywhere? Yeah, I'm sure we're probably losing money there too. Um, so again, between trying to make sure our enforcement is up and um, safety is the reason why we're looking for an additional person. What we're looking at doing at this point in time right now is to bring on, basically works out to 16 hours a week, but I'm, I'm juggling the people that are there. I have one person that works on Saturdays, and, and he's been there for three years already. He works one day a week. I offered, if this comes to, if this happens, would you like the 16 hours? Yes, I would. So the new person would be on Saturdays, eight hours. But still, technically, I am still adding 16 hours to the payroll. So, so we have how many? We have three. Now we'll have four persons. That is correct. Everyone is part time. No, I know. But yeah, yeah, no, no bennies. So we've offered. I mean, it sounds like with three, we have two on Saturday, and the one on Tuesdays one on and Thursdays. The, the three on Saturday could pick up two on Saturday, two on Saturday but they're not willing to pick up each one of them not willing to pick up the second one can't second one can't okay. right and and I can't have one person so, do three because then they'll be over the twenty understood that was my concern yeah. that we couldn't use the three that we had to get to the yeah I, I would have loved to have but yep. we can't it just logistically doesn't work because yep. the other one's got a full time job. What is the hazmat waste uh, line, Kevin? Uh, that's stuff like light bulbs and oh. ballasts and okay. batteries and TVs that we pick up on a weekly basis out on uh, San Gully North and San Gully South. Yeah. Um, okay. Oils. Do you, do you have a do you have a station out there? Because I got a couple of TVs. I'd sure. Like to. Come on down. <laughs> Why not? What else is? You know, uh, uh, hazmat tanks, you know, yeah. because people, when, when they were changing over, unfortunately, there's still a few people that have the old-style propane tanks. Well, you can't do any of those old-style propane tanks anymore, so guess where they go? They find, find a field someplace on the side of the road. So what so, do we do with those? We basically end up getting in touch with Franklin County Solid Waste, and they have a, 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 a company that comes down, different companies for the mm -hmm. different things. Um, and they 
can't take them away, and they charge us for it. What, do you know what they do with them? How they handle them? I no. mean, it, there's a reason. There's a reason that uh, it's just not simply open the valve and leave the valve open. Correct. If it was, then it wouldn't be a problem. Correct. Okay. What I'm, what I, what I assume, at least the, the propane people do, because mm -hmm. I know the propane people, if there's, if it's in decent shape, you know, the tank itself, they'll go ahead and they'll do a quick pressure test to it, a hydrostatic test, mm -hmm. and they'll just throw a new style, uh, new style valve in, mm -hmm. and then you see the blue rhinos all over the place. Yeah. Is basically what they do. Mirror gas, mm -hmm. yeah. Because so. yeah, if you actually, if you ever ever look at one of those, the blue rhinos, yeah. go ahead and look at the numbers on yeah, top. And you start right. looking at the dates yeah. of when these things were originally put into place. Yeah. It's like, ah, <laughs> can I have another one? I don't, I don't like these numbers. Bruce, uh, this new person behind grade one, step one. Correct. Thank you. <clears throat> Motion to move transfer station expense four thirty three fifty four hundred uh, the uh, amount of one eighty four one hundred. Second. Five. Uh, can I ask one more question? Sure. I have a question. Um, I questions. see the difference is about $13,500 because you're saving $3,400 in line items from 2019 to 20. So the increase in salary is, is about $13,500. Roughly. Right. Because what I had to do is I had to look at your Somebody higher paid been here for three years, right? Your higher paid their person. higher rate compared to yep. So so I tried to out. I tried to mix them, so so they actually worked out properly. No, that's but good. Yeah, they're actually ten thousand is because the of subtraction. the differences. The so that's just the ten thousand isn't the rate. That's correct. Great. That's correct. And who made the motion? No, wait a minute, I got a question. I'm I just know. curious. It, you, it sounds like you're finding stuff along the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Is there any attempt to? Stop that! And I mean, I don't know how you do. I mean, yeah, neither do I. Talk to I mean, you you know, to well, we're just like, when I hate to say it, but when when you find bags on the side of the road, I rip the bags open. I look for people's addresses, and every now and then you find somebody that's stupid that'll throw yeah. something on the side of the road, and there'll still be an envelope in there with their name on it. <laughs> so, you report it to which which doesn't happen very often, but every now and then it does. When but I do when that, you get I something like a TV else. or something like that, unless I fingerprint it, I mean, there's no way of knowing, and or you know, if we do Super Big Brother, we've got cameras everywhere, then that'll work too. But other than that, we're kind of at the mercy of people being human and not pigs. All right, but it's costing us a lot of money. It's costing us money, no doubt about it. <clears throat> it always has, though. So. Yeah, I'm not sure. And it always will, unfortunately. Any other questions? No, oh, what's the question? Okay. Uh, uh, second. It, who, who made yeah, the motion? Yeah, second. Bruce. Second? Me. Thank they you. did it simultaneously in two-part harmony. All, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. 184,100. Okay. Opposed? Extensions? 700. And uh, test well monitoring. Test well monitoring on $50,000 speaking with um, DEP. Do not believe that they're going to be required any more well drilling. Talking with the present uh, engineers, I requested to give them give me a ballpark idea on what they felt that might be any additions to their their costs for FY20, and they said that they felt that they could probably keep it pretty close to the same. They're a new company, and I really think they're really trying to, to keep their foot in the door, and I think that's why they're giving us a good deal. Who is it? Um, a, um, so, I'm sorry. GZA. Oh, okay, great. Make a motion we approve this. Second. Move, um, seconded. Any questions? Yeah, we spent sixty-two thousand. That's because we DEP requires us to go ahead and have additional um, uh, additional well and different monitoring that had to happen at that point in time. To be honest with you, um, I reduced it to sixty thousand last year. Somebody reduced it to fifty thousand without my knowledge. And when I explained to them that, you know, I had plans for that money because I knew what was going to have to happen. That's why I overspent by $2,365 because it was removed from. That's why we ended up having to ask for that additional 22000 $22, to be able to start covering some of our costs. So when you're looking at what we spent extra, 
and we're um, asking for less just because, again, speaking with DEP, they're not expecting any more wells that would have to be drilled, and they're not expecting any more additional type of um, testing that they're going to be looking for. And the people that are actually doing the testing are planning on trying to keep me as level funded as possible for their charges for next year, FY20. Okay, we have a motion, John, right? Who yeah. made the motion? John did. Yeah, second. Bruce seconded. Bruce seconded. It's moved and seconded. All those in favor, $50,000. Aye. 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 Opposed, Seven zero zero. Okay, we've got wastewater treatment facilities. Now this is this becomes the easy one actually. Uh, we have, we have a summary page and then we have a detailed salary and detailed expenses. And, and, and I would put that in tab nine um, according to the to the. Uh, yeah, there's no there's no uh, account number on it. Correct. I'm trying to hide but it. I from those to you today. Yeah. So this, this is all, as far as the money goes, this is not that we should be cavalier about it, but this is all money that comes from the sewer reserve fund or from the users. Correct. This is the cost to operate. Pardon? This is the cost to operate. Yeah. Oh, no. Yep. <clears throat> no capital. <clears throat> and to be honest with you, in, in, in the really super long run, um, when, especially when it comes to the expenses, when you're looking at equipment repair and stuff like that, once we actually start fixing stuff and putting new stuff in, I'll probably stop overspending that that line item. Which because right now I'm already overspent by twelve thousand dollars. Which one we're We're actually ago. looking. There's only one. It's it's the uh, sewer enterprise fund. I've broken it out just so that you can see the. Oh, we've got three yeah. pages. Here. Well, it's three pages, but it's the first one that we're going to. Oh, okay. uh, let me ask that. Uh, which which one of these are we voting? The sewer enterprise fund, right? Okay. Yeah, but the detail, the, the detail, detail is on the. That is, yes. Is on yeah. So you're certainly welcome to ask questions on the, uh, on the detail. So, so basically, the salaries and the expenses were put together, and we're just assuming income is going to be equal to that. That's what we've done. Forever. For years. Yeah. And there is nothing in there for payment of interest on debt. So. That will change before town meeting, but it is what it is for right now. So should you put a figure in there for now? What's that? Part? Should you put a ballpark figure in there just for the interest? I have no idea. For which interest? Well, I was going to say, no, we have interest probably on two things. Now, now, I just found that out today. So but we don't, we, at this point, we don't know what those are. Yeah. No. They shouldn't be too huge. Yes, sir. Short um, I have a question um, on the last two items in the budget, 46 and 22. Payroll. Payroll. Oh, okay. Sorry. Are we on payroll? <coughs> we, don't, we don't have to vote on the overall, do we? What's that? Are we voting on the overall? Yeah, it was the overall that we're going to vote. You mean oh, okay, the, sorry. Then I'm, yeah, I'll no, wait. No, no, no. If, no, if you no. got questions on the... Uh, on the sewer payroll, ask well, them because. Oh, okay. All right. So I see what you're saying. So, so it's the hay <coughs> uh, uh, yep. highway payroll, yes. whether it be regular time or overtime. No, the two That's numbers don't match what's on the highway salaries. <coughs> Are we it, going? It's not. It's, it's probably not exact, but it's 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 it's
Can I, can I ask you what's, what's happening with this sludge? Have you got another contract for another year? We have a contract for another year right now, but unfortunately the place we've been really bringing it to out in Lowell, it looks like they're going to be down for two weeks. So right now we're, we're scrambling, trying to get as much sludge out as possible because they're going to be down for a two-week period. And the other place that, that was taking that they're really kind of holding back on, they jacked their rates. It's, it's, I think unfortunately what the problem is, I think there's a lot of places that are out there that say, you know what, you got no choice. Mm -hmm. So you know what? This is what we're going to charge. Yep. yep. So, you know, realistically at this point in time right now, I know Greenfield is looking into it, whether whether how what the viability of it is, but they're trying to look into putting putting together a very similar plant that would take care of sludge and would take care of the area. Uh, I know that Jan Mean has also reached out to Montague to find out if they can take just a little bit of somebody's. Um, but again, like I said, she's she's scrambling pretty hard right now trying to find places to bring our sludge so that's yeah, why I, I really don't like putting on my everybody has said the same I, I was going to say this is a huge at the MMA yeah. that was one of the yeah. things they discussed was the yeah. cost of recycling yeah, definitely uh, cost. is going to really skyrocket as well as the sludge handling is skyrocketing all the municipalities are in the same boat mm -hmm. I mean unfortunately like I said you know there's people out there that see the opportunity and they jack them you know but like the we have a contract, so we don't have to worry about it next year. That is correct. Okay. But here's the problem: is even though we got the contract, is how much is going to be? If point A, which is where we're bringing all of our stuff, says, yep. "Sorry, can't take it." Well, I got to bring it somewhere. So if that's the case, then I end up having to spend more money to bring it someplace else. Again, they they only look like they're only looking like at a 10-day period that they're trying to shut themselves down for but they're trying to make sure that they're, they're saying 14 just to cover themselves um can they get it done in 10 i honestly don't know because i don't know how much they're planning on doing to their plant yeah we're talking next year though that's correct well no actually we're talking on the, the next two, uh, 2020 three budget weeks. huh three three in three more weeks Oh, I understand that, right. but I'm, I'm looking at the same. I think this, the question was the same number from last oh, year. Oh, yeah, that year. is correct. Yeah, because we are in a contract. Yes, I'm sorry. That's right. Case. Okay. Did we have a motion or? We have a motion and no second. I'll John? second it. So moved and seconded. $846,752 is what we're voting on. Uh, there's no further discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? It's unanimous. Uh, what else have we got here? <coughs> so, so the payroll and all that goes into one. We don't yeah. have to vote those. Oh, it was? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks. So back to the, up to the select board, I guess, is where we are now. Thank Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. <laughs> the support? It is. Before, I wish it was. Before Zach leaves, when do we yeah. want to talk to Zach? We can Lee sign up we, anyway. It could be a lot worse. Figure out when we when we can ask Zach to come present his budget. Kevin? Okay. You know that sheet? Can you fill those dates in for the building committee? Next week, Zach. On the big, on the big sheet, not right? dates missing for the... Compactor. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have not got those days together yet. Though. Okay. But, Thank you. Uh, for next we time. on? Yeah, I will definitely. We'll definitely make sure that we get those. All right. Thank before you for the next meeting, and that way you will have the information. Great. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Uh. Fifteen minutes. Good. Select board staff salaries. One twenty-two fifty-one ten. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. 
So, so you, you, did you move back for a reason? I wasn't sure if you would start asking me questions about um, Your contract? No. the administrators. No, yes. I, uh... I, I didn't, I think, I based, I think the budget was the same. I think we just left it the same. But. We, no, we, we did. did. Yeah. We did? No. No? It went down. It's not the same as what? It went, the, if you're talking about the town administrator budget, yeah, it went did, down. Went down last year. a little bit? Okay, so yeah, so same or down. Almost $2,000 less. Yeah, but then there's a new one on there then. I know. Two thousand less than what was it for? What if you get for two one nineteen? Two one nineteen, yeah, that's a if you take fifty one plus the forty, add those two together. Yeah. That is supposed to equal this year two thousand twenty to ninety. Like right, well, look, we got we So there are there are three there are three the for the seven here. There are three positions in here. There's the position of the town administrator, there's the position of the assistant town administrator or executive assistant. I'm not sure what we end up calling that position. Mm -hmm. And there's the position of the administrative assistant. Correct. Yeah. Uh, One's a new hire. One's a new hire that they're going to advertise by the end of the week. And. Uh, <laughs> Hire by the end of next week. Sure. You get, do you guys have a select board meeting next Tuesday, Wednesday? Uh, we are discussing our scheduling because we do have a meeting on Wednesday, a joint meeting, as you know, but we have quite a lot of business to come in front of the board, so we are looking for an additional meeting date right now. We're trying ne to I mean, next Wednesday, this is off the, but we are meeting to one to talk about capital, the three At boards. At 5 o'clock. Okay, and then you said yeah. we're starting at four o'clock. We're going to have um, some informational meeting um, with uh, D some DPH personnel on vaping, and then we're going to do some business. And we're going to have the capital um, public hearing at five o'clock. Was it five or six? Five. Five. Uh, six. Be the elementary school because the six. elementary school um, public hearing is at okay, six. Okay, so that changed because I had it down for six, but. I had it yeah, for six too. Yeah, right. that, well, that was a change that I know that I'll we'll just. Yeah, no, ours is five o'clock. Ours, the joint March one, six. is five o'clock. Okay, mm -hmm. so March six is five o'clock. Mm -hmm. I had that as a joint meeting for us. Yes, yes. at yes. five o'clock. We did have that as a and then as a try. Yes, try because then we are all going over to the elementary school oh. for six o'clock. That's, that's the new one. It's the elementary school is having that their, public uh, hearing is at six o'clock. So, okay, I, I had it wrong. I, I, minute, no, you had it, you had it right. I know, okay, I, but I'm just, I'm not going to change. Mm -hmm. I asked Barbara today. She said she hadn't heard from me. That's what we had. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so that's the plan. But the board um, recognizes they have a lot of work in front of them, so they're going to um, pick an additional meeting date. I don't know if it'll be before the 6th. I doubt at this point it will be, but after. Well, we'll probably have another meeting on the 13th. Correct. We have, I mean, we haven't decided as a board, but. On the joint meeting, three, three committees, select board and two right. committees. Yep. Who's posting that? In terms of, All tell me more. As far as posting the, it for posting notice. Posting the right. meeting. Right. Is this require additional, any kind of additional advertising when you say posting or are you just talking about no, posting just the No, just posting okay. finance and the. Okay. 20, okay. that 48 oh, hour we'll, notice. That's we it. will cause that to happen. We'll, you we'll post that. that. Now, yes. the next question is, and I talked to Barbara this morning and asked her about the language on the bylaw language, and she supposedly had not heard yet. And so, if we're still under the old bylaw language, does that mean that we have How to have it in the. Are you sure we haven't heard? I asked Barbara this morning. She said she hadn't heard anything as far as approval yet on the CPI, uh, C, CIPC bylaw, mm. the new language. Does that, does that put us in a position where it has to be posted? If that's a public meeting, does that have to be posted in the newspaper? That would count as a public hearing is what you're saying. Right. Because if well, that joint meeting is going to be a public hearing. If there's no decision yeah, but from I the thought, attorney general. Right? Aren't general bylaws adopted immediately? Only zoning by, or is it the opposite? One of them has to go and wait, and I thought that was zoning. I thought generals I, I take effect. If it's voted, yes, 
unless it's uh, rejected, we can use the. the what we'll double. We'll double check with Bob. Just we'll, right. We'll just double check. That's only good catch. All right. Just to make sure. Just check. Yeah, just I, make that's sure. all I normally use in this search. Just don't want to be in trouble, that's yeah. all. Yeah, so obviously if there is some kind of publication requirement, then yes, we aren't going to be able to have that meeting on the 6th. I'll tell you that. Could we, meeting, could we, we meet as three committees, select board and two committees, have, have our meeting and do whatever we need to do, yeah, joint meeting. and then hold a public meeting later if, if yes. need be? Yeah. I hate Absolutely. to do it sure. twice, but yeah, just to, yeah. Just to make sure I do we're too, but I think we need to get that meeting so that we can move oh, right. Yeah, no, the, I think we should have the meeting. I just we wouldn't meet the yeah. publication. We wouldn't meet the public notice okay. re public okay, hearing requirement if there is. So you'll be able to check with Barbara on that, yeah, and you'll also be able to post the meeting regardless. Yes, and we'll, we'll plan we'll on that meeting for five o'clock, the joint meeting. Yes. If if Barbara hasn't heard, it wouldn't be checking with Barbara just to double check that she hadn't heard. Right. It would be let's check with the attorney general. Yeah, right. just, exactly. just double What's check on the right. process. Yeah. Let me just make sure it's time to get that posted. Well, but right. the no, finance the, 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 sure it's the capital improvement committee can meet. Yeah. 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 But it's not. It's the public hearing that you Correct. might not. Have. Right. Exactly. The rest of us that's can. That's why I say we can meet. We can talk about the and then. Okay. Right. We can we can do all the work. Yes. So, right. And if and we then, have to have a public later, we can do that. Absolutely. If we have to advertise. Let's it. just make sure okay. we get it. This I just want to make sure it's clean. And confirm right. what yeah. we're actually doing. So, select board staff salaries. Back to that. Mm -hmm. Questions? Well, Anybody have questions? Can somebody just quickly summarize for me the chain of events? Because I know there were a lot of changes, and I know that I'm probably not the most up to date person. It's just so discouraging uh, because this we've been understaffed for almost ever two. since I've been here. Okay, yeah. if not longer. So, so we have um, our assistant um, administrative assistant who's been past longest been here longer than any of us. Um, she's she's here. We we um, obviously right now we're in the midst of a town administrator search beginning. We have an interim town administrator, which is great. And then we have, um, we had hired an assistant town administrator to do some planning stuff in that, and that lasted about a week, and um, maybe a little longer. He was fantastic. Three weeks, he was fantastic. Um, but went back to his Feeling previous wasn't job. Mutual, huh? Feeling wasn't mutual, no. He did like us, but he just liked his Didn't other like job better. Didn't like us that much. <laughs> Didn't like us that much. Well, so, it was a 50 and 55 so we really need to get that office up to speed and it really needs to be staffed by competent staff to do all the stuff that we need to have happen. Um, so that's, we're hoping um, we can attract somebody for 90,000 a year, uh, depending on their qualifications for town administrator. Um, I think we probably can, I'm hoping that, that'll work. So that search will, will happen. Um, and then we're hoping to search real soon for an assistant town administrator. And we're kind of in the discussions right now, I believe, uh, with trying to figure out workload between that office, which has been uh, doing a lot of that office. And we really need to we, get. We spent an hour spent and a half oh, talking thank you. about that. Right, so. Yeah, yeah so I'm familiar I'm, with that good. topic. That, that, then I don't, need to, I don't need to belabor that. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> not bring it up again. <laughs> we'll take that up again. Sure. I thank you for this summary. That was exactly what I needed okay, for the context. Just one more thing. Um, we did hire an executive administrator last year. And she worked for a short period of time. Correct. Also. Yep. yep. What, well. what was that last She year? left also. Okay. Yep. But she's not in the budget for this year. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Yep. I make a motion we approve the select board staff salaries. A second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? And we're talking about $197,683 for those three positions. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions? Is that unanimous? Seven zero zero. Thank you yep. very much. Hmm. Mm -hmm. One fifty one fifty three hundred is the next item. That's the. Uh, you can find it here. Legal. Wow. 
Yeah. Lighting increase. 15 uh, Remember the <laughs> previous hour discussion we had? <laughs> um, you know, so, some of it is that. Um, some of it is um, we, this past year, the towns had some personnel issues that arose. Um, we had a flat rate contract with council, but because of the amount of engagement we had this past year, um, they were not willing to continue with that same arrangement. So they have advised us that they would need an additional uh, five, five in the contract. 15. And then five is person, five. I think, I think they wanted to, what do I think? I thought it says 36, but I, I thought 46 we were at flat. Okay, and five so, for personnel. Okay, so there you go. So, so right now you have a contract with them for 36,000. Yep. They want another 10 up to 46. That's just the flat rate contract that doesn't include personnel. So then we had uh, talked and put in another amount for personnel. But. And, and we've already spent what 12,000 on labor issues this year so far. Mm-hmm. So I'm not even sure 51,000 is enough, but. And, I and this think, is a. And I think 51,000 is a lot for, for a community this size to be paying, yes. paying for legal issues, to be honest. But. So it's so, four, this is 46 plus labor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, 51, I think, is a total ask, yes. You Have we shopped this budget around at all? Well, so, you know, about it. we've, there's been some, I have to say, just very, basic and preliminary discussion about the idea of going out to bid or to, to talk about changing council. That's not a discussion the board's had, I want to clarify. Um, but just because generally towns do that every so often. And mm -hmm. um, But again, that would be something the board would need to discuss. And On a per hour rate, they're very reasonable. We've just been using legal. Uh, a lot of hours. Oh, we use it a lot for solar, port port. marijuana. What? We've Use had marijuana. We've had plenty board solar. So solar. we expect we expect that that's Please not part of the thirty six. Some of some of that no. Some of that gets charged out to the planning. You know, through the peer reviews and stuff. Some of that. Um, no, the we had a lot of, of the documents. There was a big part of it last year was personnel. But yes, you did have you know the, a little bit of of costs in the planning. You know, verifying. But we haven't been do, doing near amount of legal review of decisions and things that, in my opinion. You know, that, that's where you should be directing your money to be paying to review <coughs> things that you're going to record in people's deeds and things like that. And we haven't really been having those things <coughs> reviewed. We've been spending, you know, money in, in other areas. So I'm hoping that this year we're going to re, you know, course correct a little bit on that. And, and so I, I haven't spoken to council about this amount, but I do know before <coughs> I got here that was the amount that they had proposed that they would need to continue in the arrangement this year. And I understand that your negotiations, uh, <coughs> salary negotiations with the police department, you're not, you don't have labor council with you during those negotiations. We don't have, we had the first. Well, we don't, we don't have them at the table, but we go, we are using them um, as we go through the process. So in other words, when we get the information, we go through council, we vet the discussion, the board has a discussion. Um, so it's a very, it's, it's, it's not, in any way are we not including council, we just don't have them sitting at the table with us, that's correct. That's we have conference call. That's kind of stuff. That's enough. I mean, that's but one of, one of the challenges just of late that we've had and we have put you know, we've tried to put an end to it, but with the, um, as Bruce mentioned, the, you know, the marijuana and solar applicants um, have a lot of legal representation themselves, and lawyers tend to feel that they can call other lawyers and just ask questions, and so our, our counsel had to basically tell us that we needed to stop that process of lawyers or anybody, even board members, anybody, just calling counsel. It was, it was getting to be too, mm -hmm. uh, too much. Um, so we had to, uh, so that's just kind of, call, you know, kind of uh, rose up in the last couple months and we've, we've put a, you know, ended that process. So I'm really hopeful, you know, that we'll have plenty of money in the legal budget going forward. It'll be a smooth year next year. That's what I'm 
<laughs> well, if it is, we go back to the 36. Exactly. Let's hope so. <laughs> we won't know that until no, we're gonna do a 2021. Contract. Yeah. 2021. No. Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah, 2021. Right. I would make a motion to recommend <coughs> item 151 5300 for 51,000. It's, is there a second? I have heard a second. Anybody have any further discussion? I'll second it if it's a lump sum. Excuse 30, me? The 46,000. Well, it's 46 plus five. Well, the five. Um, the five is included in lump sum? No, uh, in 51, yes. So right. a lump sum fee of $51,000. Yes. So we'll not exceed that. There won't not. be any additional requests for funds from this legal... I'm not going to say that. Not until it comes to the reserve. Yeah, we would ask the reserve fund for yeah, the transfer. We would come. So my, my goal is to not. Have yeah. we exceeded the 36? Mm -hmm. No, no, it is a flat fee contract, so no. Yeah, the, 40, the 46 yeah, yeah. is a flat. Is that true? Well, the Labor, labor. labor Council is outside of the flat fee, yeah. so that's an addition to... The flat year. fee. So So, and we yeah. definitely will have more labor. Yeah. We aren't finished with the... Through June 30th of this year, correct. Well, Absolutely. we aren't finished with contract negotiations with the police. For example. Well, we will. We, we hope to be by... The contract is ending June 30th, so we hope to have that to but up. we would also anticipate additional labor costs. There could be, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So This year, but hopefully next year. So my right. motion seconded is that the 46,000 is a fixed fee contract and the 5,000 is an hourly rate. Is that correct? It's just additional for labor. Well, yeah. it's additional for labor, We have, but it could be 17,000. You never know what you're gonna run into. Okay, yeah. just, just wanted to be clear. It depends if we, I mean, we had pers we some personnel. We're gonna have a smooth year. No one is gonna cause problems. So explain that again, Bruce. So I'm, I'm seconding, uh, actually I'm making a new motion. Yeah, yeah. you're making an amendment. Amendment to Never mind. Allison's just, just, motion. Would you withdraw your motion? I suppose. Would you, go ahead, now make your motion. <laughs> My motion is uh, <laughs> to approve the legal expense budget for $51,000, $46,000 as a fixed fee consultant contract mm -hmm. and a $5,000 Hourly rate for labor only, labor legal but, expenses only. But we may we may end up spending more than five thousand for labor. Right. Okay. So that would not be prohibited. At a fixed, it's at a um, hourly rate. So yeah. Yes. Did yeah, they say for the 46th? I'm hoping. Did he make a motion? Did you second it? He made it. I seconded it. Okay. I wasn't sure if he was done. So but we I have a motion it. on the table. We're done. Exactly. Can we have a little more discussion? Sure. Yes. Got I, I have a question. I mean, for the 46,000, do they limit the number of hours you get? No. 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 And they come out. <laughs> and some, I mean, well, believe me, we happen. made out like a bandit this past year. Well, so even this is why greedy, they actually it increased also, it. Right. Even it also, if we get greedy, they, they're no. going to stick to that right. 46,000. They have made that. And then they, I think they also right. included talking to when he came out for, what was it? So we have a few I times think, a year. Yeah, I think us. in addition to them, um, uh, you know, to the service, they, they come out three times a year and provide trainings too. So, yeah, no, it is a good deal, but it's not a good deal if they increase it $10,000 every year. Right. We just, we just, <laughs> but they just last this year, year was so that's craziness. What I'm, yeah, so and, I think if we, we had can them keep out. it so how in much, check. So, and, some of this was marijuana stuff and other things. It was a, so, it was how a much money have we brought in that went into the marijuana fund? Right. None yet. You haven't None. purchased any yet. You haven't bought it. We haven't done. Oh. <laughs> it's opening up in Waitley, didn't you know that? Open yet. <coughs> I thought you said we were going to bring in tons and tons of money. I never said that. Tons and tons. I did. Marijuana. I did. I never said that. I said we got to keep on, on, on out in front of this right. and be conservative as possible. Well, yeah. I would. We are getting right. sidetracked and. I would. Uh, motion. Uh, you know, we have a question from Jeff. I think okay. he had. Some yeah, I, I would just like to possibly at some point shop this account around the yeah, world. Yeah, I would, I would hope that you would 
look around. And just, so yeah, just to take a look, to, it doesn't hurt. And, it doesn't hurt. You're you right. know, who knows? No, it doesn't hurt. We, 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 we've, I, I, I can say that we are very careful of who we, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're constantly aware of it. This firm is from Granby? No, no, they're from, they're Newberry. from Newberry. Newberry. Newberry, so this is a long trip. Yeah, long trip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we started with them years back because of the land use. Well, from Mark Bobrowski was the original partner. Um, and we, the planning board used him because he was the best in the state um, in the, the 1980s right. and 90s. And Absolutely. he has since retired. Yep. And Lisa Mead, who was the partner that we brought in um, when we were trying to replace our local um, council, um, well, I'd say he's looking at me. Well, <laughs> I would like to make a comment. No, 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 not, a, <laughs> no, not about sorry. that, please. Sorry. So anyway, um, they, they have they have done really well with us, um, and um, and their hour per hour rate is um, very competitive mm -hmm. with like the traditional ones. Well, it doesn't hurt. But it is check. worth. You're but right. You're always, right. We always check. And I would like to make a comment that that was brought up at a slight board meeting two years ago and last year as well, and nobody still shopped around. That's not true. A couple men and page, um, other land use lawyers we've looked at. I have, when we go to the MMA conference, that's one of the first things okay, that we then, always then I do. Okay. I want, I just said, I want you to know that we are okay, uh, aware. Right. We visit. We visit the booths. We do all the kinds of things that we're supposed to do. Okay. Are we ready to vote? Yep. Yes. I'm good. Okay. I have one more thing. Can <laughs> <laughs> we send you a second? No. <laughs> yes, some of us have jobs. Come on. <laughs> all right. Are we ready? I'm All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 7 0, unanimous. 7 0 0. Thank yeah. you. Uh, next. Contracted services. That can hand it out tonight, right? Yep. Yes, that's when I just hand it out. After yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Where's that? Sorry, I didn't have that. Yes, I, I apologize. I know Brenda's been asking me to work on this, and I, I think we have been putting together some numbers, but um, you know, a lot of these things. Uh, our projects that I'm inheriting, our numbers that I'm inheriting, so. It's wishy you know, washy. I'm just. I ha I feel uh, I feel most compelled to just hold the line until I know more, and I do know that we're in the process of, you know, we are working on the King Services. We we have that project going, so we'd like to continue that. Um, we are working on the landfill solar services and, and looking at not just a new landfill project, but we're looking at a project we've already built that hasn't been functioning properly. So, you know, I'd like to keep, look, you know, that money. So um, all of our telecom money we have analyzed and we have changed everything to be the most efficient we can be and the most effective. We still need to make investments in you know, more even than we're doing. But for now, you know, we just want to keep this stuff going. We did drop the um, emergency communication system charge of 5,200 um, because we believe that we are going to go to the 800 system. I mean, I just don't see that us um, supporting, supporting a, um, a parallel build out. Yes. Oh. Yeah, John's done John yeah. for that out of his budget this yeah. last year. So I've got two questions for you. The first one, the sewer utility billing, $4,000, negative $4,000. I'm not, I don't know that I understand that. And then FCAT funding, $80,000. So, so this, the, the sewer utility billing is uh, a grant charge from SoftRight for that particular module mm -hmm. that, that is used to create their bills. So that gets um, uh, directly to them. I'm just reflecting it as a negative. Okay, charge. so this cost to the sewer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's in their budget. Okay. And then the 80,000 peg access. Um, so we used to have a special revenue fund um, that was for peg access, and mm -hmm. then DOR decided that um, they didn't want us doing that anymore, and they wanted you to either set up an enterprise fund or pull it into the general fund. 
And um, this is the time when Doug was here and Doug didn't like the option of the Enterprise Fund, which doesn't make sense either for our particular operation. Mm -hmm. right. So he pulled it into the general fund. In the meantime, DOR has put off requiring that. Now, I think they put it off two years, maybe even three years already. But it is in our general fund. So the cost is in contracted services. The income is in, I don't know if it's in permits or fees, mm -hmm. one of those. Fees. fees. How, yeah, how, how, much, fees. how much is it? How much fees. is in fees? We usually, uh, well, I, I put in like 82,000. We usually get something like 90,000. OK. Yeah. So we're, we're covering the cost. We yeah. are, yeah, okay. most yeah. definitely. At least for temp right now. Today. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if legislation changes um, on the federal level, this will affect our budget because we won't be collecting. But we have enough money in the account to go another year. So um, I'm pretty sure a whole year out. So if we, there's a, a, a year delay. So mm -hmm. if all of a sudden the funding does dry up, we can go for another year and then we'll obviously change the budget. Are there any more questions on contracted services? Would it be cheaper to buy a copier? Question. No. Not, not yeah. as quickly as they go downhill and yep. date. We've been back and forth on this. It's, yeah. I don't know. There's, it is a marginally cheaper to keep it this way. But it is also a pain in the neck. You have to, if something happens to it, if we bought it and something happens to it. Yeah, and, right. Yeah, it comes I mean, with the service contract yeah, included. It comes point. with yeah. all your costs included. I mean, it, so you just know what your costs are, too. You can plan for it. It, it really affects the efficiency of our staff to have it. And this is just not one copy that we've got. Right. Oh, it's yeah. just not this, this one back here? No, oh, there's one another one in there. And there's and there's and there's yeah, that makes sense, down, right. The police department and the highway. Okay. And what about the two smaller ones that you've got and... Oh, and mine. And... Uh, uh, that one I think we must have been That's yeah. just like a own. desktop yeah, model. Yeah, like a okay. staples kind of thing. Copiers. The one in Dick's office is a, we yeah. own too. Okay. Those are just little ones. If there's no further uh, discussion, can I have a motion? I'll make a motion for account number 159-5410 for the 211-200. I'll second it. It's moved. It's seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? It's unanimous. 700. Zero, zero. The last one of these, there's a couple other ones that we do need to talk about mm -hmm. briefly uh, that aren't on here, but uh, emergency management. Um, tab two. Number? Uh, 291-54. Two ninety two fifty four hundred. Two ninety one. Two ninety one fifty four hundred. I don't have it. No, neither do I. Me is missing it. Missing. We're missing. You want a copy? I think everybody's missing I it. I've got, got it. I don't know why you guys are missing so many. Yeah. Stop that. You got gnomes. <laughs> where, where did we put it? Two ninety one fifty four hundred. Uh, seven. Seven. I've got one. No, no I've got nine. Like oh. four, three two. or four. Did you check your mailbox? Is I guess a couple. Just a couple. I, I need one. I'm not sure. You only one. I, you only no. one tab. Oh, hang on yeah. a second. I'm sorry. Thank you. I don't have it. Two ninety one fifty four hundred. I'm sorry. I've got it. Two ninety one fifty four hundred. I don't. I feel like it's quarter to nine and everybody's unprepared. Okay. So, briefly, what is this? What is this? Yeah. Um, this is our emergency manager that is uh, required. Uh, we have I like Lori last year's Lynn. budget. <laughs> well, we didn't have anybody last year. Exactly. Point. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I liked it. So go ahead. Um, it's required by MEMA to have someone. And um, Lori Lankowski McComb has stepped forward. Uh, she's a firefighter EMT from Amherst that works for the town of Amherst. She lives in town. Um, and she's she's wonderful. She's already gotten grants for us. Um, she goes to the monthly meetings and participates um, down and goes to Agwam meetings monthly. Uh, participates. She's participated in several tabletop 
exercises already for us. Um, she's organized our- So who used to do this before 2018? Um, more or less- Mark Gilmore. Me. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, I got one. Turned out we found one. I'd go to as but many meetings as I could. Thanks, Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. But I was an official. And this is, she's an official she's person. Do you need she's, certification of some sort? Or? Oh, yes. She's, you have to be certified um, ICS. She's, she took training to be ICS 400 certified, which is your highest training. You took the bleed kits? Uh, oh, oh, yes. Oh, I told her she just got, a grant she just got grants for that. Um, she's The bleed kits? So all of our... Um, the schools, schools uh, so. a lot of the public buildings, they have uh, bleed, you know, stop the bleed kits. Oh. I think Zach did a bunch of training, training. on that. And uh, our, our emergency um, uh, vehicles, as well as our police cruisers now have them. And, um, God forbid we have something like that. The thing is, she's, she's doing stuff that um, we used to do before, and, and she's organizing. And she also applied for the EMPT grant, got a, got a grant for 24 no, this is co this will cover her to go to these meetings because it is a lot. I mean, most of these meetings are either in Aguam or Framingham. Mm -hmm. You know, it's and she's volunteering her time to do it. Do great, oh, great work. I I would like to make a motion to uh, move uh, account number two ninety one fifty four hundred for the two thousand eight hundred dollars. A second. Guys are getting tired of this, huh? How fair it is. No, it just makes it just makes sense. <laughs> any any no. other questions? Only 20, 2800. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Is that unanimous? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. The only other two items that I wanted to bring up, or the other, were the uh, swim program and the so that we. What was the other one that we said no? Try Tom Beach. Tom Beach. 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 What numbers? I don't know. To be honest with you. Diana has since got an earful. <laughs> <laughs> well, it turns out that there's a, a fairly active utilization of the Tritown Beach. Um, there's about 100 to 150 season passes that are sold annually. Um, there's a day camp that uses the facility for about six weeks out of the summer. Uh, they bring about 30 kids a day over there. So um, while they have been this last year, they had some, they had an algae bloom for the first time in a, in a long, it never happened. They, they are uh, trying to figure that out. But, uh, but for the couple years before, they weren't having any water issues, um, although there had been you know, some, some information that they were having water quality issues. Yeah. That, that is not the case. Um, but and they do so, test. And they do test, yes. Yes, they test, they, they test uh, regularly. Um, there, uh, of course, is a, a group of folks that, that run the program. There's four of them. Uh, Waitley and uh, Deerfield are the, the towns that are paying, but the towns of Sunderland, Waitley, Conway, and Deerfield are all welcome to buy season passes, and the facility is open to the public for day passes, to anybody from the public for day passes. So, um, so they obviously are uh, very um, concerned that you would be considering cutting their funding at this at this stage. They've had no public outreach, no public input, so they would ask you to restore that for 2020. And then, if you have concerns going forward, I would suggest you bring those folks in and, and you know have a direct conversation. Well, oh, I think that the We're concerns that I think we had, and maybe I was the only one that had, was basing my decision on the quality of the of the water, basically. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like to see something, and I don't know who's responsible. Who, who's? Bill Skrosky, right? He's who, who? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Right. But who chair. was, uh, you talked with, with somebody. Uh, Beth, about. Foley. Beth Foley. Beth Foley is also involved, but she also recommended Bill Strasky as the person that is really the one that's. Uh, you Who's know, doing the testing and where does the test so, results um, go? Town, the town of um, Waitley's Board of Health right. is responsible they because it's the in their property. town. Um, and they have, are a member of the Foothills, so Valerie, um, 
I'm oh, blanking on her last name, but Valerie is their health agent. So, and she's very good um, about communicating to us if there are any issues, and we, um, you know, make sure it gets on our web page. Mm -hmm. Can we verify that their test results are? Um, I, we certainly can. I, I can yeah. ask um, mm -hmm. Valerie for her um, okay. test and the board testing of health schedule. May, it seems the, the Board of Health may have some records of that if she provides those. She, I mean, she's very she good about communicating to us that and that we immediately put it on the website if there's any issues. Okay. All right, so what's your I, pleasure? I think that's one of the reasons I people hear about it. And, if people so hear Bruce, about it. Because other towns are Bruce using first. it. That's Bruce first. Bruce, I didn't Bruce that. first. It's Go ahead, Bruce. It sounds like you're getting two uh, two uh, accounts talking together here. You have a summer swim program and a Tri Town Beach expansion. Right. I, Both right. of them have labor issues. Right. I'm. I was only at that point referring to the Tri Town Beach program. Mm -hmm. I haven't discussed. But the they're both swim used. The reason the that we said program, no to both of them was the, the water yes. quality. Okay. No, the reason we said the summer swim <laughs> program it didn't happen last year. Right. right. And there was nobody going to do it this year. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, they don't. The, they don't. That's what we have in a minute. Right. Okay. Okay. Find a life plan. Next question. They would. They would like to try to address the issue, um, but they aren't going to be. They aren't going to do it in the same way they used to do it, where they would have a certified instructor down at Tri Town Beach this year. They aren't going to be able to do it that way. But they'd still have kids that they would, you know, like to teach to swim through the same type of effort and they have ideas of how to re you know how to how to put that money in a different place to basically have the same outcome so my question is is you have this fund uh, for this swim program revolving fund yeah. for eleven thousand eight hundred dollars uh, that hasn't been used for a year um, what is that for? It, it does it is now being used because I'm I've reflected that coming out of the the swim program budget, uh, $3,000 unexpected. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry, I'm Brenda. I'm slowly working that down. They only take in, with this, with a full swim program, they were only taking in about $1,500 to $1,600 a year. Anybody, anybody. But they built that up. Remember, we talked about this a few years ago, and that's why I started off setting their, their um, budget for next year. Because they were only taking in about $1,500 Okay. Now, it's my understanding this is not run through our rec department. Is that correct? No. Okay. That's why it's a bit awkward because it has a separate board, yeah. a separate Bruce. volunteers. So, so do they, who, who does the accounting for That's this? That's my question. Okay. You know, of the income, the expense, and so forth. I mean, no. Well, Beth Foley runs the SWIM program. So she'll bring the receipts in and she, she deposits them into our into, into the revolving fund through our, our office. Um, Bill Sprosky takes the money for Tritown Beach and he puts it into this checking account that's kind of off the books. <laughs> he pays for some of the expenses out of that checking account through Barbara. And then the rest of the expenses are in our budget and wages. So I'm really concerned about this. We and I went back to last year's minutes. We talked about this last year. We had a major concern of how the accounting was taking place. Um, uh, and I think at this point, uh, any uh, we can't continue with cash anymore. We changed it at our landfill. We need to change it here at the swim program. It has to be check only. It can't be any cash. The cat no. It, I, I'm still against this program unless they come up with an accounting process. That was one of the reasons I voted for it. I, I think we all shared your... Well, then yeah. we need to tell them that they need to present something before this gets revoted. At least my, I won't make a motion to, yeah, and to I bring it back. I wasn't actually aware of those issues, Bruce. We, when brought, I spoke. we, we said last week there was an accounting issue. Oh, I, I well, guess yeah. The, the issue, we, the real discussion on the accounting occurred a year ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's I was going to say I was unaware of that. I'm sorry. When I was told to approach, yes. When I was told to approach um, Beth or given the contact to, to approach those folks, it was more about just what what the activity was. If they were using the space and if there were water issues, I'd never heard anything about the accounting well, issues. Well, in a So I didn't say anything to them about it. I didn't ask them to come. So, so speak that money to ultimately so. comes in here in cash, or or does it go into a checkbook that we don't? Deposits it and gives 
Barbara a deposit slip or if he brings the money. I, I don't know. I don't know. In our minutes of last meeting, I have two comments. One is a concern, financial accounting, need to see process and provide annual report. Tritown Beach needs to be further evaluated before funding is recommended. That's what we talked about. I don't know who made the recommendation to go to them and not talk about all the issues. I'm not willing to change my vote. It's fine. I, I, it's hard to defend this. This is a, it, it, not because it's not a valuable program, but it's just because it's awkward for our volunteers to work with another town that has, you know, less sloppy, requirements. Sloppy bookkeeping. Well, we, we, we're the one that's taking some of the money. You know, we're on the hook for some of this. So, yes, I know. And we have we, to change our process, at I, least. We can't it, accept cash anymore. I, I'm, I'm going to do it John. John. we got to do it this here. Is, I'm, I'm, it's hard for me to defend. I mean, I, I agree with you, okay? So I, I think in a week's time we haven't had Beth Foley here. So I think that, that that's going to be the next process is to have her in, yep. discuss yeah, what's going on, yeah. what are you doing yeah. for me. She but you have, have to, all this accounting stuff but, detailed for us. But we you have know. to remember she's volunteering. Right. Um, and, and it has been really hard for her to try to get this a little bit more current. Wow. I, I, I mean, this... This has been going on for a John, 70, you know, Sharon has been doing, this, had done this for years. Story. I think we're yeah. paying close to 70% of this. We pay 78% of, of the total cost of operation. I'll split it with you. If, <laughs> if we needed somebody to work okay. five times. All I'm asking is please be nice to yeah, our if you, if you volunteers because our volunteers are trying very hard to make this work. Right. So I, I think I what I hear you saying is you would like to know how the receipts are coming in, basically, and what on the I, maybe John already knows, but basically some accounting of how the money's coming no, into the town. Doesn't make any difference. I don't understand. You know, so I mean, I'm without I'll some get, backup, we'll get a better understanding of it. I, I want the, I want us <laughs> to discuss the same reason we changed, went from cash at the transfer station to a check mm -hmm. to be discussed for the swim pro uh, for the swim for Tritown Beach. Right. Cash versus check right. and there's a reason for that and hmm. that's what we want to discuss I, and if that, and I'm just asking you just that. just I totally get it Bruce and I agree with you I just want you to make sure that you well, that's a selectman's job it's not yeah, the finance we'll have that. we're trying to be nice we, get it. we just need yeah. we need to appreciate so, that someone is trying to sort this out they well, honestly are a year nothing happened okay just just don't yell at them please we'll just, we'll just, what kind of what kind of the revenue for this for the Tritown Beach expense? Mm. I presume is in local receipts, right? No. 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 Separate it's checkbook not. that the um, right, Shredder which gets which does sound revenue. problematic. I get what your drift is. Where's like it sounds like there's then? some revenue that's being generated from Tritown Beach. There we're is. incurring some of the costs, and where is that awesome. revenue coming from? So wait a minute. So we're we're, we're, pay, we're paying twenty right? seventeen thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and we're charging people to use it. Correct. And none of this is coming back against the seventeen thousand. And there's wait a minute. And the time out. And there's people from other municipalities using it. Just put Brenda in a timeout. So we're we're like we're helping helping people from Springfield. Everybody pays. Come on up right. to come on up here from Springfield and go swimming at a beach. We'll oh pay for it. Speak a little louder. We need more information. Tritone Beach would be costing us a lot more if the Trevor money was coming into the general fund. Yeah, they pay some of the expenses out of that checking account as much as they possibly can from what I understand. But we're still right. But it's a loser then. From, from the town's perspective, the loser. recreation is always a loser. Yeah. yeah, but why should we let other, why are we paying for other municipalities? No, they, I assume they put some money they up, right? They buy they a day. Buy in. They buy well, a day but, it's, but it's a net loss. It is. It's always they don't buy loss. in. The other towns don't pay nothing. Nothing. If an individual comes in from Sunderland, they pay. They pay the fee just to and just to come in, but Sunderland pays nothing towards the unit. So, so what's the fee? And obviously, another I town used to pay because it's called what, Tritown. Roughly, right? what would the None fee be? Other towns pay. Why was so it called would, Tritown? I guess my concern is if it you was get some Tritown because that's think, the way it was just, set up in state Can law I just say years ago? Just one. And then I, when they had to have the three towns vote to accept it. Deerfield voted yes, Whiteley voted yes, and Sunland voted no. 
So it's a tri-town in name, but it's really only two towns. Okay. But it was so set up here's, here's my concern. I, I understand Bruce's mm -hmm. position. What do you do with a 15-year-old kid who wants to come and then he pedals his bike or she pedals her bike up to the end for the dollar or two dollars and you say, oh, no, we can't take the two dollars. We need to check. <laughs> That's, that's the problem. The problem is that you've got to turn around and have them fill out an application, pay their $30 fee or whatever it is, and the parents usually pay for that. Mm -hmm. And then once they have their card, they have then they card. go in there anytime they want for right. free. But right. if they've got a day pass, if they're doing a day pass. Can I just well, say, well, we don't have all the answers, so why don't we just get the person here yeah, again? Get the person no, here. not they here. The you guys, here. You guys need the person here. This is where I meet. In this you room. Get here. Holy, you get the person here. Here. In my, in my my please be nice. You've got to be nice to her. She's trying to work on this. We'll get the answers. We're funding other we can't get them tonight, futile. so we'll find out. We need to move so on. Back in touch. Yeah. We don't, we don't need to see them here. We need nice. you to verify. But I think you guys are very question. curious. And you do have good questions. <laughs> good questions. How many people? The 150 that you mentioned, was that for the tri swim program or the Triton Beach? I think that's the Triton Beach. Right. So yeah. that comes out to about $150 per person cost by this. $15,000. Well, you got $23,000. There are $23,000. 23000 so uh, you're yeah. So are you so. saying it's cheaper just to go up to the Y? That's what well, I said. Yeah. Ten minutes ago. Yeah. I said that yeah. last week. To give everybody 50 bucks. I think that has been our money. observation for a few times. We need to change the name to Buy Town. And it's 9 o'clock. Yeah. 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 Yes, I agree with you. And I have a yeah. full-time yeah. job yeah. with overtime. So we need to be yeah. effective and constructive right now. I'm sorry. So who are you talking to? I'm talking, I think I'm talking to the, the moved, chair of the, the committee. Okay. The yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We'll, we'll we brought it up, we brought it up because that. it's a problem we need to get through. I agree so. it needs to be resolved, but it cannot be resolved now. So Apparently we need not. to make a plan to resolve it later. Our time is valuable. Mine is anyway. Mine's not? I mean, it might be. <laughs> sorry, it's some people aren't acting like don't, it. Don't go effective. too far there, please. It's, uh, you my my time is valuable, believe, believe me, because I, I have less time than you do. I I am glad that you feel that way. You're on the same page. I don't, I don't feel that way. I'm being honest. I have less time on this earth than you do. Great, so let's make the best uh, use of it. Is what I'm saying. This is this is getting out of control. Yes, well, let's table so this. So stop the okay, talking. Great. What was? Is there a motion? Yes, and I seconded it. Bruce made it. What is the motion? It's the motion, motion to table. These two items. You mean to withdraw the last year's last week's no. vote? No, no, no. no. Any continued discussion until a later date. We're we're going to try to find some. Okay. Yes. All those in favor of tabling Aye. these two items until Aye. a later date? Aye. 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 Opposed? So that's unanimous. Okay. Uh, anything else that we need to? Yes, it's time to adjourn. Make a motion we do that. Man, when's the next meeting? When's the next meeting? March 6th. Next, next, next No, next March Tuesday. 5th. Next Tuesday. At 6 o'clock. Correct. That's, a, that's all right with everybody? Yep. Yep. 6 o'clock? Next Tuesday, 6 o'clock. That's the 5th. That's and March 5th. Then, 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 there, is a, then, then there is a, a meeting yes. on March yes. 6th at 5 o'clock, right? Yeah. Right. Yes. I won't yes. be there. Here. You can drive back from Florida. It doesn't matter. You, you turn around halfway. Said, I'll be in Virginia. Well, then come on back. You're That's a shorter here. run. That's right. easy. Now, uh, we really, now we have great Wi-Fi. We can FaceTime you. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. <laughs> so moved. Second. Moved. Second. And all those in favor of adjourning? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's voted. Unanimous.